Ah, uh, yeah. Welcome in. Welcome back to another episode of the Format Podcast Live. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We got a pretty good show lined up for you tonight. Um, I'm going to wait for some people to get in the chat and then we'll go ahead and get started. Um, so until then, I'm just chill and uh, catch up on these scores from college football today. And uh, man, Oregon smacked around the fighting Illini. So it looks like the Illini aren't there quite yet, but uh, Oregon is rounding into peak form right around the time where we're really starting to uh, identify who's who for the college football playoff coming up. So, hmm, man, that's a, uh, it's a tough looking team there. Oh boy. Um, man, yeah, that's a tough one. So, North Carolina, 41-14 over Virginia, two unranked teams. Ooh, Georgia Tech started off the season looking like they had promised, but their quarterback went down. Now they're 5-4, and four, still bowl game eligible. Well, with another win, they will be. Ooh, Cal smacked around Oregon State. Man, this has been a really uh, compelling season overall in college football, but uh, it's still you're going to have the blowouts when you have them. So this is uh, this is interesting. Um, hmm. yeah, the game I'm looking forward to here in a little bit is, uh, what is that? Uh, LSU versus Texas A&M. I think that's going to be a big one. Uh, two, two really good teams, uh, two really good teams here going to, going to square off in the sec. And obviously that, uh, it's going to have a lot to do with how things shake out in the, at least in the initial college football playoff rankings. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to that. Um, Obviously, I'll be uh, I'll be rooting for A and M because every A and M win that we get is uh, it's it's better for Notre Dame, right? As a Notre Dame football fan, with uh, Notre Dame getting the big win at the beginning of the season down there at A and M, obviously you want A uh, and M to continue to have success. So that should be uh, that should be interesting. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, da, da, da. All right, we'll wait a couple more minutes and then. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Looks like it's probably just going to be me tonight. Uh, Transformers got some family stuff going on. He's got to attend to, right? Got to take care of family, family first. And uh, G also has some stuff going on. He might. These guys might pop up later. You never know. But um, looks like I'm going to be running the show solo. So I'll give it another minute or two, and then I'll go ahead and get started. But uh, looks like it got some, I, I think there's some pretty interesting topics we're going to discuss here. Um, obviously, starting off with the the beginning of the 2024 NBA season. Then we're going to go ahead to the uh, uh, the inside the NBA uh, top 50. Those guys had some uh, interesting perspectives on their top 50 players in the NBA this season. Then we'll go to former President Barack Obama had some comments to say about the NBA. Uh, I like to call him the world's most famous basketball fan. And then we'll finish up with the LA Rams and, and what opportunity they might have to ascend to being a uh, a playoff team or a team that could possibly win the division after at one point, I think being uh, what one in four. So one in three, one in four. So we'll see what they've been able to do. Um, uh, kudos to Sean McVay. He's got those guys playing well. And uh, I mean, they, they should be right. Uh, there is some championship DNA left on that team. Not a whole lot, but um, you've got a quarterback that a lot of people think may be a hall of fame eligible when it's all said and done or going into the hall of fame. And uh, you know, you've got some other things going on there. So, uh, yeah, should be should be interesting. Should be a good time. And you know what? I am just going to go ahead and get started. So, yeah, we ran through the uh, we ran through the main topics here. I'm going to do a couple of uh, quick hits before we get started. Uh, but before we do all that, you know what time it is. Let's get it. If you're here on YouTube and you haven't already, please make sure you go ahead. Click that like that subscribe that notification bell. Make sure you're kept up to date whenever we drop new content on the channel. If you want the audio only version of the podcast, open up your audio podcast platform, hit the search bar, type in the format podcast and we should come right up. If you're enjoying the content, make sure you give us that like that five star review and drop a comment. All that stuff helps us rise in the algorithm, helps us find more sports fans, helps more sports fans find us. And finally, make sure you write it down put it in your phone set an alarm do whatever you got to do to remember saturday nights at 7 p.m we are live here on the format podcast and we'll give you the opportunity to call in talk to us get at me i love it i can't obama talks the nba so reason i got him here with um, next slide next slide so president obama former president obama the most well-known basketball fan on earth it's true he um 
<clears throat> excuse me, he uh, was earlier this week. He was on um, with the Young Man in the Three podcast with Tyler Hall- Halliburton. It was the first episode, and he was the first guest. I was like, okay, that's a hell of a first guest. So, um, <clears throat> can you say again? No bullshit. Yeah. Right, right. That's a hell of a first guest. You know, so. I mean, everybody gonna be tuned in and say, oh, damn, who, who, you know, who we got next?" But anyway, this dude, um, this dude rolled the pine pause the whole Olympics, mm-hmm. and he got the, the <clears throat> president. The, the Obama hey, asked him why he didn't get no burn during the Olympics. Nah, he didn't. He yeah, didn't. He was cool. That bullshit ass <laughs> podcast, man. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, so uh, this was cool because Obama he told some cool stories on the show, and then he talked about who he um what players and teams he likes to watch. And then he uh, he directly told them about the All-Star game, which was I, I thought was real cool. So we're going to listen to each one, then we're going to come back, unpack it a little bit, and talk about it. And, uh, yeah, so let's let's hear um, Obama. The first clip where he uh, gives some interesting stories about some pickup games he played, and I thought it was pretty cool. And before we even get to that, I thought it was ill because we know that even when he was in office, we used to see him outside, you know, hooping and whatnot, and – and now he tells some uh, pretty cool stories. So, you know, let's check it out. Well, it was funny. We were talking at when we went to dinner in Vegas and LeBron and you guys were talking about your old pickup games back with, in the right. White House and stuff like that. Well, yeah, we were talking about um, for my 49th birthday, because because at that time I was still playing pickup regularly, even in the White House. And and we had a group of guys, my my body guy, basically my assistant. Uh, was a guy named Reggie Love who had played on the national championship at Duke. And he had a bunch of friends. And so we'd get regular pickup games. There was a court uh, at Fort McHenry in D.C. And and sometimes NBA guys would come through and, you know, we'd set up a pickup game. So I remember one time uh, KD and Harden, when they're both still at OKC, uh, came through and we had a pickup game with them and and you know they were high quality and look i'm i was like a good high school player right so i'm not in these guys league but i can get up and down the court and i'm smart enough to pass the ball (laughs) or set a pick instead of trying to do stuff and they're not playing hard but anyway 49th birthday we decide well let's have like our own little all-star game so we set it up sort of as a as a benefit uh, because we had a bunch of wounded warriors in, in the stands so they could watch. And we set it up where we had three pros and, and, and two amateurs on every team. But everybody came. LeBron, D. Wade, you know, Derek Rose, uh, I think coming off his MVP year, uh, CP3, uh, Paul Gasol, uh, uh, Joaquin Noah, Carmelo was there. So, you know, Chauncey Billups, a whole bunch of guys. And uh, and Kobe came, but but Kobe had just come back from um, Germany. You know, he, I don't know. His, his blood was yeah. he had that that blood work, so so he couldn't play. But he but he he sat in the stands. Bill Russell showed up. Magic came, and I'm pretty sure this was the last time Magic ever actually played full court basketball, or at least he tried, because we didn't think he was going to play. And he said, "Oh man, I'll." I'll. So he, he puts on a jersey and. Uh, you know, he's throwing behind the back passes, but they're kind of going the bleachers because, you know, he, I don't think he had played for 10 years. Um, but but we had a great time. Uh, and and I got to say, I, I was, you know, everybody's playing kind of three quarters, although they are playing harder than y'all playing these all-star games. Yeah. <laughs> I, I will say that. And uh, so I hit a couple, you know, threes, and I had a little spin move, and I threw a oop to D. Wade. So I was feeling pretty good about myself. And I crossed over CP3, and later I, uh, he was, I, I was kind of somebody was talking a little trash to him. Was like, man, he, he crossed you up. And he's, oh man, I wouldn't. But I do think I, I caught him by surprise. Um, so I was feeling pretty good. Derek Rose then goes on a radio show, I think a week later, and somebody asks him about, oh, I heard you played ball with the president. How was he? He says, ah, oh, you know, I, I, actually he he was pretty good, but but he was really slow. And I'm thinking, dude, I'm 50. <laughs> and you're the fastest person <laughs> right, right. in the NBA. Of course, I seem slow to you, man. He was kind of serious about it. He was all like, yeah, you know. I mean, he didn't have great foot speed. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, compared to you, nobody does, man. Come on. Cut, cut the old man a break. 
I think Bruce, we lost Bruce. Yeah, that's what it looked like. It looked like we lost Bruce. So let's talk about this. Uh this this um this little comment. Um first of all, like um one of my close friends that um that I went to college with, he uh he actually went to a couple of these runs and he had um he had some stuff to say. First and foremost, right? Fort McHenry is not in DC. You guys see I put it in the chat. That's not in DC, that's in Baltimore. Um, unless there's a different Fort McHenry that I've never heard of. Um, but yeah, so so there we there's that. Um the other thing is is um yeah, uh, one one of my close friends, he talked about you know being invited to the White House and there was all the um uh, 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 uh celebrities that he spoke about being there and they they actually had a run uh, something he didn't talk about him leaving the game early with a busted nose or some shit. Like somebody elbowed him in his nose and Michelle was like, you got him good. Like, <laughs> and she was kind of like, uh, 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 like nudging, nudging it on. Like, you know, Hey, you know, you, you, you pretty much, um, thank you. So there, there's some rivalry there between Michelle and, and uh, Obama that we don't really hear about. I thought it was a pretty good, um, a pretty good take on Obama side and uh uh Halliburton, but uh yeah quiet is kept this dude smiled too hard to really be any type of um relevant podcast right I don't I don't know what's up with Bruce I'm gonna call him and see what's going on but that's my take on this um we can skip we can open the lines I don't have um the authority to open it up but we're going crazy out here right now uh um just put it in the chat if you got something to say right now until Bruce come back. Oh, there he is. Yeah, my bad, y'all. I don't know what happened there. Some uh dropped off, but <laughs> what a transformer. You, you might have you might have you might have um either earned 50 followers or lost 50 followers and at 30 seconds that you was gone. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> I, I can I can repeat what I said if you want. I, I you know what that I'll sum it up for you. So one of my, my close friends that I um, went to school with. Um, I ain't gonna say his name, but mm -hmm. his brother um, actually uh, was one of the guys who was at those runs, right? Like they organized them, and um, I know me and you talked about this before about him, um, uh, 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 like pretty much following following Obama real heavy, and he mm -hmm. played through it, right? <laughs> but he was actually invited to the to the to that uh, cookout that they had, well, not at the White House. At the time, he's telling the older story, mm -hmm. and he, and he said everybody was there: LeBron, Kobe, Mike. Mm -hmm. Everybody was at this 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 um this cookout, and it was okay. all love. Bill Russell, like all the great ones, was there, man. Like, and he was like, "Yo, that was by far." He, you know, he played he played college ball, and so he was like, "By far, that was like one of the best moments in his life because everybody was there, right? Like right, everybody, right. all the great ones was there. Yo, everybody you can name." Even though they didn't play, that was the time. I don't know if every if anyone remember this, but this is when he invited everybody to the White House. Um, mm. They they played a game, and his brother um, fouled Obama really hard. The president, mm -hmm. okay, fouled him. This is when he was the president. He fouled him really hard, busted his nose mm -hmm. and some shit. Obama Damn. just played through it. So they had like this was a, a reoccurring thing where they would always he would always play with the great ones. And so mm. for him to tell his story is it's mm. kind of cool. However, he didn't know where the fuck he was at because right. Fort I McHenry looked it up. Is, you said that. Yeah, that's just not in DC. So mm. I mean, I guess he ain't want to mention Baltimore. He probably would have lost viewership. Man, I don't think that I don't think that was it, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's my two cents on this, man. Like you can you can cool though, it either way. Yeah, I'm glad your Wi-Fi is still fucked up. That way I you know I got I finally got my my, my moment of fame, bro. My 30 seconds. <laughs> A glory, right? Uh, like, Hold up. The teacher is not here. What? <laughs> they say he's gone. <laughs> yeah, man. Good time. Uh, no, nah, that is cool, man. You know, you know what I thought about when I heard that, though, right? So he's talking about Yoakam Noah, and he's talking about uh, KD, and he told the Derrick Rose story and all that. He's talking about all these dudes. I found it very interesting. Magic. You notice who he had almost nothing to say about? Did you notice that? Just L saying. LBJ? 
I, I, you didn't think that was weird? No comment. All right, cool. Moving right along. But yeah, I thought it was a real cool story that he told. That's why I wanted to just include that in the segment because, you know, damn, oh boy, took yeah, off. So- because um, Obama, he, he plays ball. I'm not going to say he's yeah, a hooper. Yeah, he hoop. Yo, he a hooper. He a hooper. <laughs> He, and he's still hooping, bro. So it's like, <laughs> all right, what story was he telling, yo? Like, it's probably so many. It was probably a time where he was in D.C. hooping, and he just got his time for He's 50. So Could be. Yeah. We got to give him grace. Give him yeah, grace. he's an old guy. Yeah. He's older than us. Yeah, we got to give him grace. Like mid-60s, I think, something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, Yeah, I, th- I thought that was cool, though. I thought that was cool. All right. Yeah. So, so then, you know, he continues the interview, and he, so they kind of ask him, like, and you'll hear this, they ask him, who he likes watching now, what teams and what players. And I thought this was cool as well. Do you have a, a list of your league, your favorite league pass teams, like your four or five teams that you're going to... I have? like how... I, listen, I like how, how the Pacers are playing. Are you only saying that because I'm in front of you? Yes. <laughs> but also because you guys play with pace and you move the ball around. And look, I... I you know, if you ask me the teams I enjoyed watching most over the last decade, it, it's the Warriors. And before that, it was the Spurs. I just like that style of basketball, right? The beautiful game and the ball's popping and nobody's just backing up and dribbling the whole time. Um, and and you guys are playing that style of ball. Now, you know, you got to pick up that defense a little bit. Yeah. But, <laughs> We're figuring um, it out. We're figuring and, it out. And then, look, there are individual players. I mean, I mean uh, – it's it's hard to take your eyes off when Manyama on he's when he's on the court. I mean, it, it, you know, you're too young to remember when Durant first came in the league, and that was freakish, right? You just hadn't seen somebody that tall with that skill set, um, and you're definitely not old enough to remember Magic and Bird. Those two guys, you know, people forget how tall Bird was. I mean, Bird was like a legit six nine. Uh, and, and magic was six, nine, and and those guys are doing things that up until that point, big men hadn't done, but to see a guy, he makes the rest of y'all just look tiny. (laughs) Yeah. It's unbelievable. I mean, and, and to see, you know, his growth curve, um, it, it, it's, it's hard not to watch them. And, uh, and, and, you know, Anthony Edwards, I enjoy you know, because he's just got a charisma on the court and you can just tell he he's just having fun out there. For sure. Right. He he likes, you know, the smack talking and the challenge. And, you know, he, he hasn't he's so young that he hasn't figured it out to that next level. Right. A guy like uh, Luca, you know, who'd been playing pro ball since he was 15. Right. He, he's seeing the court in a different kind of way than Anthony Edwards is, but over the next few years, you know, uh, what he's going to be doing. And I'm excited to see what, uh, what Memphis does this year. Um, yeah. because those guys got banged up so bad, but Ja, Ja, ja can do some things on that court. For sure. I, 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 I'm, I'm glad I'm not his parent because <laughs> every time he goes up for one of those dunks, I just, you know, you're worried. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, welcome uh, back. Welcome back, Bruce. I'm glad you, you, you know, you made it through that. <laughs> okay. I uh, absolutely did. No, I thought, I thought it was pretty cool as well. Um, the only thing like he, he was talking about, uh, <laughs> he was talking about, uh, Golden State and the Pacers playing with pace, yeah. I guess, but like, you know, playing an up and down type game. But then he mentioned the Spurs and I don't ever really remember them playing that way. And I was like, okay. But then he said, you know, talking about the beautiful game and the ball moving and all that. So I, I get that part, but I didn't think the Spurs really kind of fit in what he was trying to say. But, um, eh, you know, it was cool. But you can see when it comes to basketball, Obama's a purist, right? You heard him say he doesn't like the guys that basically hold the ball and dribble a million times and all that. So who's that? That's James Harden. That's LeBron. That's the guys who, you know, are uh, ball dominant but don't necessarily play the right way right you have to control the ball so long for such a large percentage of the shot clock to be able to get anything done and i don't you know that's the same thing we talk about and so now again i guess i guess that obama doesn't know anything about basketball he doesn't know what he's talking about either because it's just interesting how many of these people 
had the same thing to say, like the same redundant comment over and over again. But I guess none of them know anything about basketball. But would you would, would you think about what um, President Obama had to say in, in that set of comments there about what he likes to watch and, and who he likes to um, watch? Uh, on I his thought it was pass. realist. And, and, it, and it, he kind of talked yeah. without using the narrative. That's be, you know what I mean? Like he talked about the players mm-hmm. without – narratives right what yeah because at the end of the day like skill is skill and it don't matter what ner- it's there's certain narratives that pushes the lead and and, and it, it brings it to certain people right like yes we, this is a a, a a softer league a um uh how can i say this a more pg league and i think mm-hmm. when he talked about those players he talked about them without fault right like this this dude can make all the shots. He, you know, Ja is that guy, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but fuck, man, this dude smiling so damn hard is breaking me. I can't I'm, I can't even concentrate. Like I can't I cannot concentrate because Tyler oh, is smiling. So, <laughs> he's smiling so goddamn hard it's hurting my face, bro. Like this dude need to really like, talking about. like I see why he didn't get no burn in the Olympics because. Like I will bench his ass too. Like I want to see a frown. This dude smiling so hard. You, you're not. You're not. You're not. Okay. Um, hey, I mean. <clears throat> it, yeah. That's. Yeah. It's Obama talking about basketball. <laughs> he's the president of the uh, ex president of the United States of America. This right. fine, fine, great state. You know that I raise my right hand to serve. At the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Um, why is it dude smiling like he wouldn't? What, he wouldn't man. stand. He wouldn't stand on business at a Diddy party, bro. He looked like he he would get cooked. He looked like he would get cooked. I don't even understand where Diddy party came from. All right, go go ahead. Keep keep going. Keep going. Keep going. The measure of a man. Never mind. I'm, I'm not going there. Um, please, please do not. I'm just, I'm, I'm just having fun, bro. And I, I don't want oh, you to lose your channel. Like, like, I don't want you to lose your channel because this can go really crazy. But this dude, I see why he ain't getting no goddamn burn, bro. Like, oh man, I see why he get. Listen, you look down the line like, all right, who do I put in the game? And I see this motherfucker smiling like, like he's smiling on this uh, thumbnail. Yo, don't fucking fall asleep, bro. Wake up. I'm good, man. Damn, I'm good. <laughs> Damn. Wake up. Like, I see this motherfucker at the end of the bench and he's smiling. I'm like, yo, nah, I'm not putting this guy in the game. And then I look at Tatum and Tatum looking dumb as shit too. I'm like, neither one of y'all get, y'all don't look like y'all gonna put that business on. Like, I need somebody that be, that I can put in the game and they gonna cook. And I mean, um, Steve, I got something. Steve, to Steve, about Steve Kerr is a real one. I'm gonna say that. He's a real one. Like, we gave him a lot of shit about not, not, not playing t- uh, 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 Tatum. And not playing, uh, what's this dude name? Tyler? Is it Tyler? Tyrese Halliburton. Tyrese, I'm sorry. Tyrese. We gave him shit about not playing these guys, but I understand now. I get it now. They just don't look like dogs. This dude is too, what is that? too friendly. Right. I mean, too but friendly. didn't this dude average like 24 and 10 last year? Like, Yeah, but you see this smile? He got like perfect teeth. He ain't never take an elbow to the face. None of that. But he could ball. We got to stop this. He can ball. And I'm not his biggest advocate or fan or anything, but he can he can hoop. So whatever. Can you, see, can, um, can you see his eyes? I'm sorry. In his thumbnail, can you see his eyes? I mean, I don't really care. <laughs> yes not, or no? Can you see his I'm eyes? Not, I mean, all I'm, you see is all not, 32 is his goddamn teeth. Yo. Yeah, but like, why am I trying to look in another man's eyes anyway? What's We're that not, about? Well, you're not gonna be able to see it because he look user saying. friendly as fuck. Like <laughs> he don't look like he's gonna push back, yo. Like. He like, what oh, yeah, you, you can score. I'm good. What are you talking? Anyway, I digress. Right, yeah, I digress. Yeah. I digress. <laughs> I digress. I digress. I digress. Yo. Yeah, I, what I, I will I, say is, is like, there's no way you should be smiling that motherfucking hard um, in any of your pictures. Where I'm from, we mugging our pictures. It's like, yeah, but but what what does that get you though? Like, what's the point of mugging in your pictures though? What does that get you? Like you, I used you to do that. You the patriarch of your family, bro. Like you the patriarch of your family. You tell me you smiling like this dude. You smiling like this dude. That's I mean, I, I got some. Yes or I no? Got, yes or no, sir? You, you have any pictures where you I do, only, I do. only see your teeth? 
and we can't see your eyes. Like, <laughs> I got some pictures like that, more recent stuff. Like I be Jesus. like, uh, we took a family picture, and the photographer he had me laughing so hard, and he he snapped it while I was laughing. No and eyes, no bro, eyes. Man, no I'm eyes. I'm gonna show you the picture later. I'm gonna show you the picture. <laughs> it, it's, it's it's funny, man. We yeah, was, oh my god, we yo. Were coming out, oh, my own place. I'm about to unsubscribe. I'm about to yeah, unsubscribe. Yeah, but the point is, man, nah, you don't got to be looking like screw face all the time, man. That's not necessary. It's not mm-hmm. necessary. I mean, my man, look, that smile ain't stopping from getting like 24 and 10 last year. So it is what it is. I mean, you don't, you know, you don't got to be ice grilling all the time. Yeah, you got ice grill all the time. Especially you family. Got ice grill all the, the time. time. That's the best time. Ice <laughs> grill on your family. Listen, if I come in, listen, I come in your house. And yeah. you looking like Tyler uh Hollibird, whatever uh-huh. his name is. Uh-huh. And, and you smiling like this, bro. I'm like, oh uh-huh. gosh, man. It just man. it just next slide. Yeah. <laughs> this cat, man. <laughs> I think it's I, yo, it's the military shit. It's the military shit in me. No, no, it's the military shit. It's not even no. I you mean, know I, goddamn well. You know goddamn well when you went to basic training, they say, "Yeah, I wish the fuck you would." Yeah, but that was totally different, though. That I'm was, gonna that smoke was... the shit out you if you smiling <laughs> in your picture. <laughs> so you sitting there, ice grill, like. Oh my gosh! But but I'm saying it, I was, it fucked me up for life. Not to mention I'm from Baltimore too, but nah, man, nah. Yeah, I guess he don't have to worry about you know mugging because he ain't stopping nobody, and ain't wow. nobody stopping him. And where else is my mouse? You ever lose your mouse pointer and you just disappear? No, I don't have a mouse. For real? Yeah. Are oh, you one of them cats? Yeah, I'm one of them cats. It All should right. come with a, a touchpad. I use the touchpad. I'm not. On I got laptop. a Mac. I got a Mac, so my Mac got like an app, but I don't even use that shit. Just... Oh yeah, I forgot you're a Mac dude. Nah, I, I had a homeboy. Quick digression, y'all. I had a homeboy. Um, he was a Windows guy. He was a you know a, a tech like us, but this dude he. He just come to your desk, move the mouse out the way, and move everything with hotkeys. Nice. Oh, sorry, time out, time out, time out. Steve yeah, brought yeah. up a um a, a really so. good point, right? Like, if we look at the '90s players, you don't see nobody smiling like this dude in the thumbnail. And I don't know if that's one you pick, but you can't find that in the '90s. You can't find that type of smile. In the in the 90s. 90s. I was thinking the '80s because Magic Isaiah you- Thomas. Isaiah Thomas is probably the only one was yeah. showing all 30, 32 yeah, teeth. Yo, he's listen. probably the only one. But we yeah. know he gets men, so <sighs> it is what it is. I mean, on the all right, we're not. I'm not even gonna. I'm not. I'm, I'm not even, like lying, bro. Like this facts. Like you. No, no. I'm. I'm. You're I, not gonna lose your channel for me telling facts, bro. Like, is, no, I, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I'm not gonna <laughs> go any further into the discussion. I'm right, just I'm gonna say that. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I mean, no, I, that's I, your, I that's your flavor of the day. That's your flavor of the day. It's just me. I don't. That's your bag. You carry it. Don't don't ask me to carry it. Um, <laughs> I don't even know how we got here. Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. I found my mouse pointer. That's what happened. I lost my mouse pointer. I'm, again. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to be <laughs> professional here. I'm, I'm not bad. Nah, you're good, man. You're good. You're good. You're good. This was entertaining. I don't even know how it got there. Oh, oh, Tyrese Halliburton and his cheese smile. <laughs> is that what that is? The cheese grin? I, I, that's what they he call it. like French Montana. I don't know what French Montana look like, so I couldn't even tell you. Um, Jeez, you're way off the grid. Yeah, man. Um, if you're 185 pounds, you can't look that friendly. I mean. <laughs> so, so first and foremost, like, I'm, I'm like, no, no bullshit aside, man. I ain't, this, this one had nothing to do with gender, but, you mm-hmm. know. This dude look gay, and gay is what happy, right? Like that's the definition yeah. of happy. He yeah. looks really, really happy and comfortable. Mm, and, sure uh, does. <laughs> you know, <laughs> here we go. Happy and comfortable. Yo, yeah, did you he see? Looked, oh, he had the three breezes in the video though. He looked real happy in that one too. I saw the Wallow yeah. and um, Gilly um, interview where you asked oh. him about. Uh, uh, I don't know if you've seen this, but uh, I guess Nicki Minaj. Um, had a a, cl- a verse where she talked about um, getting your cheeks clapped or like French or hmm. some shit. Like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. and and they had he, and Gilly asked him about like what did he mean? Mm-hmm. He was like he was beating around the bush talking about some other shit like oh yeah in the ninety 
during that time, like I wasn't drinking, and so he ain't like negate the fact that he got his joints clapped. Wait, but he, who? Yeah. French Montana. Oh, I uh, see. Again, I don't know nothing about that. Yeah, that's hip hop. That's some hip hop shit. You know, you know, it's, hey, listen, it's, it's, it's a Diddy friendly uh, environment. Yeah, when it comes yeah, to nah, so yeah. We gonna, don't we gonna step off that. We gonna stay on uh, <laughs> the Obama talks about yeah. the NBA. And uh, Albert was 20, 20 and 11 last year, it doesn't matter with, with the big smile. And he did saying. not play over 15 minutes in the, in, in the Olympics. Why are, you, why are you holding so much weight to the Olympics? I can't figure that out. As if the it's Olympics, the international bro. stage, bro. Like that suddenly means you can't play. Like, I'm trying to figure that out. That's the one, Christopher. That's the one. <laughs> That's the one. I didn't want to say it, but yep, that's the video. Video on Tyler. You see that one? Yeah, he had three breezes in the joint right behind him. Looked like that door was about to close and it was about to go down. Fabricated. Fabricated? Nah, they was there. Yeah, if you if you look at like the uh, the <laughs> Gilly and the Wallow joint, um, I forget mm -hmm. what a million dollars worth of game. Okay. If you look at at that podcast with French Montana. Montana they mm -hmm. asked him straight up and straightforward, like, "Yo, why was you in the middle? Why was you um, where you were in the in mm -hmm. the picture when you mm -hmm. took with a grown man? Like, it's certain places, it's certain things. This shit don't happen. Like, you got. I'm I ain't into about this shit. Like, this sir, I'm, I'm not. That's what I'm saying. I'm you talking about Halliburton? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm talking yeah. about Halliburton and the breezies. You ain't see that video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's what, that's what I was talking about the whole time. I wasn't talking about French. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's why he's smiling like that. But uh, man, I would be. Coming that off shit of that. ain't get him no minutes, man. At the same time, man, who cares about the damn minutes? He still got gold medal, don't he? He was on Team USA. He got that gold. He was an All Star last year. He ain't do shit though, bro. Like, yo, ain't do shit. Like, look, man, I don't, I don't know. All of a sudden, why you you putting all this weight on the Olympics as if that mean dudes can't play? But whatever, you know. No, 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 no. So, so this is what I'm gonna say, right? Like, if you're in a room full of lions, right, you want to be that alpha. Mm -hmm. Right, you never want to be that guy that's like, Oh, yeah, he ain't you no know, burn, he don't equal out. If you're in a room, uh, what's yeah. the guy's name? Uh, 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 I can't even think of his name, but he always talk about being in a room full of um, uh, um, un not unnatural, but like uh, uh, uh abnormal humans, right? Mm -hmm. So, you're in a room with a bunch of bunch of alphas. I'm, I'm gonna go back to alphas, you and you're in a room full with a bunch of alphas, and you right. always want to be that guy that stands out. Mm -hmm. And so he had this opportunity to be in a room with a bunch of alphas, alphas, and he mm -hmm. didn't stand out. And I'm not I, talking about like the, the 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 fraternity alpha. I'm talking about like I understand, but what I'm saying, how was he supposed to do that? How was he realistically? How was he supposed to do that? Because you know, a lot of these things also have to do with. You know, uh, young buck and age and experience and all that. How was he supposed to do Hell that? No, yo, no, yeah, no, run, no, no, you know, all that. How no, 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 that shit don't work like that, bro. Like, I don't either you, you, him, or you not. Like, well, um, unless you destroy all these dudes in practice, which that probably well, wasn't season, the regular season. If you destroy him, and that's the thing that's missing in this modern NBA, like, there is no conscious, nobody has the that motherfucking uh. That chip on their shoulder way, like, you know what, this person not going to outdo me. And that's what we missing. And until we get that, like, this is what we're going to have. This dude, he cheesing like he cooked and he wasn't cooking. He didn't even get no burn. You're not, you're not, you're not picking up what I'm putting down. I, I'm not. I understand. We saying the same shit, but we, we say the same things all the time, bro. And we talk like almost every motherfucking day. And even yeah. when we not talking, look, I knew he was going to say that. I ain't talking about Chris, Christopher Higgins. I ain't talking about Christopher Higgins. He got his whole name on it. But um, I'm not talking about Christopher Higgins. But what I'm saying is uh -huh. when it comes to, like, um, the sport, right, we always talk about what's the difference between modern NBA and, you know, NBA of the past, right? Mm -hmm. Mental. There's no way, there's no way you're going to bench me one game and then that next game in practice, I'm not at everybody's head. Like, I'm not, like, trying to cook everybody. But if I'm mm -hmm. not motivated as a player, I'm going to continue to sit the bench until I show otherwise. And so my only problem is <clears throat> that that 
doesn't always like we're forgetting that politics can also play a role in stuff. No, man, no, no, he don't get no out. He don't get no out. All right, cool, cool. He don't get no out. He don't get no out, yo. He don't get no out. Because if he I mean, came back the first game he got cooked, the first game he got bitch, if he came back that next game and he was pissing on everybody and he played with some type of tenacity and or a, a, a chip on his shoulder, he probably would have got more time. But I looking at the smile on his face, he was okay with sitting with playing. You don't even know when that picture the was taken. The passenger taken. princess. He Yo. was okay with passing, playing the passenger princess. Because one thing for certain, two things for sure is what coaches are, they not going to be biased when it comes to you putting putting forth effort on the court. That's all I'm saying. Like, you want more time, you got to earn it. All right. I mean, I, I'm, I'm sorry, bro. If I'm saying something wrong, tell me I'm saying No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not saying you're saying nothing wrong. I Because I, I never played on that level. I'll just say that. In life, in everything, politics can get involved. Man, fuck politics. We can't like like you, in, you a, in a, hold you on, sir. That, like we can't sir. act like never been in a situation where somebody deserved more time but didn't get it because of politics. Like that happens, sir. Sir, when you sit the bench, and I know you're trying to take up the Tatum. When you sit no, the no, bench, no, 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 no. This the only, only way you get burned is if you outdo <laughs> the motherfucker that's in front of you. That's it. Like it ain't, it ain't, ain't got nothing else to do with it. And sure, when it came down, dunked on LeBron in practice, dunked on uh, 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 Anthony Edwards on practice. Of course, he would have saw more burn because they saw, oh yeah, he really about that life. But he wasn't, and that smile alone tells me he you, wasn't about that life. That whole smile thing, man, you bugging, sir, you sir, sir, sir. I don't, I don't understand. I don't, I don't know when this smile was taken, bro, but I'm sure it affected his time on the Olympic Yo. team. He could have just left them three breezes, <laughs> came to the photo shoot for the team. And man, and my man, man thing. out here like, he ain't standing on, he ain't standing on I'm business, living bro. good. He ain't standing on business. That's why he set the pine. That, I well, mean, we, point we, period, don't, we don't know that. No home we don't know that. Yeah. But again. Yeah, we got to know that. No, we no, know that. Know everybody that. know that, bro. Like, everybody okay. know that. Well, yeah, I, everybody I, know that, yo. I, we, I, we, I, we can I, talk I, it up to politics, but at the same time, it's effort. At the same time, it has to be. We have to go with effort before we go with politics. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So I'm going to just hypothetically say this, right? Are you telling me that on the original Dream Team, Christian Leitner gave no effort? Is that what we're saying? Is there... Is there he, hold on, who was he dunking on? No, real, on. real talk, real talk. Who the fuck was he dunking on on that Dream Team? Who hold was he out playing on that Dream Team? Hold on. Start, hold on. I knew he was what I'm saying tonight. is this. What I'm saying is this. Is there any amount of effort that he could have given that would have got him more time than those dudes on the dream team? You tell me, because I know the answer. There's no amount of effort Christian Leitner could have given that would have got him more time than the dudes in front of him. None. Stop it. He wasn't supposed to, he wasn't Stop supposed to be there any good Not, No, no, no. You don't get the move. <laughs> he, no, 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 no. If that's me moving up, if that's me moving a goddamn goalpost, and I'm going to tell you this. He wasn't athletically inclined to do the things that, that needed to get done for him to get that burn, bro. Like that's that's the only thing I'm saying. And you moving this way past what it's supposed to be. But no, at no, the end I'm, of the day, yeah. when it comes down to it, the, the coaches evaluating the team as a whole. And when you got all these Hall of Famers sitting on a goddamn, you you got all these Hall of Famers on your team, and this guy's in here, he's smiling like oh my <laughs> god. He's smiling like this dude. You think you want to put him in the team? He looked fruity and he looked sweet. So pause. But at the same time, like you know, he's not gonna put a hundred maximum effort in anything. Why he's not? Too comfortable. He comfortable. Why? He comfortable. Yo, just because that all right, we're good. All right. You, you see how you he see it. I don't know what I don't he know what to tell you. That's the, no, 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 no. Don't run. Don't, don't run, bro. Don't no, run, no, bro. I don't, don't know what to tell you. You see, we, we see can't, I you're, you're assuming you're that you can read this dude's mind right now. And just because no, he's smelling no, in no, this picture no, does not at all loss. did or didn't do in practice. That's and then and then when I when I ask you a simple question, you couldn't even answer that. But I'll answer it no, for you. No, I'll answer it for you. There no, is no, I'll ask it for you. No, I'll ask it for no you. I know what you're trying to do, bro. I know what you I know where you're going. I'm not going nowhere. You're trying to take up for Tatum. This had nothing to do with was one and the same, and they probably got two pitches the same way. I'm pretty sure you can pull up some pitches. This dude ain't got no eyes and all uh, 32 teeth showing. But at I the same time, we can't be mad when they don't get no turn, no no burn when the opposite the, the person that they playing against in practice 
is frying them. And, and, again, I, and then I, and listen, now hold on, hold on, you, hold on. I coached see, before, so I coached see, before, yeah. and as a coach, I coached before, and as a coach, you're gonna put them dogs on the on the court every time. Okay, you're but put them on the court every time. Okay, and that's Kristen fine. Leitner, Kristen Leitner was wait. not a dog when it so, came no, down no, to no, those stop, people stop, who he was stop, playing stop, against. Stop, no, stop, no, stop, no, no, we're not gonna let you move the goal. No, post, no, no, I'm not moving nothing. No, no, no. You just said you coached, and as a coach, you're gonna put the dogs on the floor. Coach K yes. is arguably. Arguably the greatest college coach ever. He's probably top three college coach ever. So obviously he thought Leitner was a dog because he had him out there. And Christian Leitner is a top five college player of all time. And he had him out there, won a couple chips, went to Final Fours all four years. He makes the dream team. Now, what, what I'm telling Kobe you show, what is did Kobe show him? What did Kobe no show him? What did Kobe show effort? him? None. Kobe no amount of effort him? that could have got him to start what? over Carl and Charles Barkley, stop it! Stop what it! What did Kobe show him? What did Kobe show him? What he did? He is not that dog. That's what I'm saying. He, he's you, not that dog. you just finished amongst saying that dogs, dogs. Amongst dogs, he's not that dog. Yeah, see, are you moving it now? See, are you moving the goal? I'm not moving it, yo. This is facts. <laughs> You're a coach. You coach sir, and coach. Sir, we don't gotta That's argue about this. Dogs. This ain't you even one of those right? things you can debate. He's not it, even I, of course, I can debate it. No, of you course, can't. I can debate it because you How just finished. You just finished saying effort could get you on the floor. And I'm telling you, there is no amount of effort, no amount of effort Christian Leitner could have had that would have got him more time over Carl Malone and Charles Barkley. None. You, you there's, not, there's not. There's not. There's no you know why. Do you, do you there's know no why? you know why. He, he was you just said effort to get you on the floor. Sir. You just sir, said that. Was, sir, he was not athletically inclined to be so now you those know. guys that you're talking about. So I want to clarify. He could have ran suicides every day, but until you can outmatch the person that's in front of you, so I want to so you know, so so fucking so pond just like so Tatum, so just, so like Tatum, so just like Tatum, just like Tyrese. Like you gonna sit the pond, bro. So what you're saying is it's not really about effort then, because you just you just finished you, you first you told me it's effort. Now you told me you gotta outmatch the person in front of you. So it's not really about effort. So what is it? You tell me. Man, you you can't, can't, changing it now. What I will say is, is like uh, when it comes to uh, Christian Lakeman and Tyrese Halbert, they those are two different athletes. They don't, they don't, they don't possess the same level of athleticism. That's what I'm saying, right? Um, Christian Lakeman is not the guy to take off from the dots. I'm not saying that that Tyrese right. is, but he got a he he has a package that uh, pause. He has he, he has a bag, I should say. That Christian mm -hmm. Lakeman didn't have, bro. Like, come on, let's be for real. Like, let's be for real. Christian Lakeman shouldn't have been there. The only reason why he was there was because he hit that buzzer beater, bro. Like, come on, let's be for real, dog. Like, let's look at this thing from fifty thousand feet. And you telling me like that's the only Tatum, reason he was there? Tatum, Tatum. Only reason why Tatum didn't get time was because of politics. Man, <sighs> that's not what here. I said. That's bullshit. That's, that's bullshit. not what I said. You're telling me that Tyrese Harbert, who who was one of these guys who, who did their thing during the season, but for whatever reason, they didn't take this shit seriously. Like, that's not a thing. Like, it's possible that these guys didn't take this shit seriously. The, the, the guy fucking Tatum got uh, 300 mil plus, 300 plus mil, right? He just signed for 300 plus mil, and he going overseas, and he playing in the Olympics for what? Next to nothing. And he not taking this shit seriously. But there's other players who was taking this serious because I mean, this was that first one. You talk about how do you know it was well, it? this was that last one. This is amazing. Oh, Why didn't you tell me you was at the Olympics, G? Why didn't you tell me you were there, man? I would have had you sir, record sir, practices sir, and sir, stuff, just man. common knowledge, man. It, it, might, <laughs> I mean, it don't matter where you are, dog. You, you, it don't matter where you are. You talk you coaching shit is simple, yo. You're going to put the dogs on the court. Like, because you, you dogs put on the your court. best. Yeah, you're going to put your dogs court. on the court. Did Coach K put his dogs on the court? I want to I wanna make sure we got this right. Coach K? Yeah, Coach K. Did Coach K put his dogs on the court? The only thing I remember about that shit is uh -huh. uh, what I heard. What when um, they talked about how Kobe, his outlook on the Olympics. Uh, I didn't how, ask anything about Kobe. I asked hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't talk about Christian Lee. I don't know no much. I don't know that much about the story except him at the uh -huh. buzzer beater. Uh -huh. But I do know what every how everybody else looked at it. I looked at how I look at how Kobe looked at this shit, and he was like. I'm going to take his fucking lunch because he felt like he ain't belong there. The same way he would do with Bronny if he was still playing when Bronny was there. He would oh, take his wait, fucking wait, wait. lunch. What are you talking about, Christian Leitner and Kobe? I'm missing something here. 
Are you missing something? Yeah, I'm missing something. Kobe was a freshman in high school and Christian Lehner was on the dream team. I'm missing something. What are we doing? Fast forward. Fast forward. Fast forward to when? To when he was running through screens and he took that shit personal that he was dead because I'm sorry, I'm talking about somebody else. Yeah, you I'm, I'm you wondering what you're right, talking. You're right. You're right. I'm talking That's about the other imposter. I'm sorry. I'm talking about the other imposter. What's his name? He the coach now for the Lakers. What's his name? Reddick. That guy. Redick. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. I got my wires crossed. My bad. I, I I really can't say that. I, I don't really know. But if I look at it now, now that I'm in a, in a different era, when I look at it, um, mm -hmm. there's no way. There's no way that Christian Lakin could have did anything to get any time. No matter how much effort he gave. Yeah, no matter. He just no wasn't matter. skilled enough. He wasn't skilled enough to be there. He wasn't skilled enough to be there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so if I look at and, and 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 you know, I'm wrong sometimes, but if I look at it, mm. maybe Tatum and Tyrese wasn't skilled enough to be there. Maybe that should have been Kawhi. Well, Kawhi was there. But Hold on. Maybe that should have been Kawhi. Really, it should have been Kawhi and uh, 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 um, what's the other guy name? God damn it. Remember, Kawhi was there. They pulled him off the team, but Tatum was there too. So it's not maybe like it should have been Kawhi and then Brown, Mr. Brown. <laughs> and or uh, uh, what's the other dude name? We just talked about him. I can't even think of his name right now. Um, he played with uh, uh, the Mavericks. Kyrie. Kyrie, yes, sir. Yeah, Kyrie wasn't going to be there for the same reason that Mr. Brown yes, wasn't going to be there. But yes, sir. I think if we see Kyrie, it was if though. we see Kyrie and Mr. Brown, then you don't you don't have a dark white or a guess why they weren't the holiday. Yeah, why you don't have a hollow. Why weren't yeah. they there? Well, Poli you might not have a politics. That's why they weren't there, Mr. Brown and Kyrie politics. But um, wow, that went crazy. Uh, no, it, it really didn't. It it didn't. It didn't. It really didn't, bro. Like, but you can say that you fucked uh, me up going all the way back, all way way back. I don't like you when you do that shit. I'm a history like, guy, go, man. Man, you can't go that far back though, dog. Like, <laughs> what Christian Lakeman, Christian Lakeman. <laughs> hey, man, I'm a history guy. It's what I do, brother. It's what I do. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> but I love you too, bro. I love you at the same time. Oh man, you know you're my brother forever. You know that. <laughs> yeah, I, I see what yeah. you're doing here. I got, I got a better prepared. Absolutely right. I got a better pair, better prepared next week, but I won't be here next week. So, oh, you got drill next week. I got you. That's right. No, 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 no. Oh, you I, right, right. You gotta go do the thing. Yeah. I got you. I, I do the thing. Yeah, I step off. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. All right, but um, we still got another clip from President, former President Obama. And I thought this was cool because he he kept it a buck on this. So check it out. Can, can, can I say can, can, can I say something though? Y'all gotta have a little more pride in that All Star game. I, I mean, look, it's not as if y'all don't play pickup during the summers, right? So there's you, you know how to play in a way that all right, I'm not gonna hurt anybody. I'm not gonna take anybody out. But that All Star game's gotten it's broke, man. Well, I, I mean, I, like people just like not running. Everybody just trying all kinds of. Well, I'm not. It used to be when Kobe and Michael and Isaiah, and, and those guys were playing, man. I mean, th th they weren't playing the way they did regular season, but they wanted to win. This sounds like a conversation with my pops right now. He, he gave me the same speech. It, 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 it's, it, 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 it insults the game. Well, I, all I said is my first All-Star game, I came off the bench. So yeah. I'm just reading the room of what's going on and well, I'm just going to adjust to whatever. No, I agree, but everybody needs to be just like, all right. We got to lock in better. Lock in better. Well, we had to. Because you, you, you're showing out, this is a, a, you know, this is your business. This, this is your product. You don't want people thinking, y'all out there just half-assed. That's a good point. We had a full meeting before last year's All-Star game. And it didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> who, came, who came in? I'm so mad at myself. It was a, Larry Bird came in there. And gave us a speech about taking it more serious. Take it, take it more serious. Could they change the stakes though in a real way to do something to make it where it's like? I mean, the problem is y'all get paid so much now. Although the in-season tournament turned out better than I expected. Yeah. Right. Where people that the the incentive there, but partly because the game counted towards the season. Mm -hmm. But y'all need to do something because we got to figure it out. Because I, yeah. I ain't watching that thing no more. <laughs> I'm not a dude guy either. I see the chat. <laughs> I'm not a dude guy. I, mean, I don't have Yo, a college. 
this ball team. This is a special place for Duke guys, man. This world, man. <laughs> special place, man. If I if I got a if I got a rule for a college basketball team, it's going to be the Terps. But anyway, that's a different story. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, Terps, Hill, anybody but Duke, bro. Like it don't matter. It's a state. I'm not sure was know the still with the ACC now. Session. Who? I said I, I'm not sure if uh, NC State is still with eight. Yeah, they're still, still with the yeah. ACC. Like, I'm yeah, not sure. all them tobacco road schools not going anywhere. They still in the ACC. Yeah. They're not going anywhere. Um, yeah. but yeah, I, I really like this one. Obama called it straight out, like, "Hey, man, y'all got calls. Y'all got play some defense out there. Y'all got to try." And then at the end, he's like, "I'm, I'm not watching that no more." <laughs> he yeah. just straight called them out. It takes away from the game when you got pom poms when motherfuckers trying to score. score. Man, <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Terrible. So I actually yeah, um, pom poms and shit when motherfuckers is scoring on you and shit. Like, oh yeah, yeah man. It's wild, like, in the ass. Look at that lane, yo. No, no lane. Nobody ever, stepped up. So ever, like, come on, man. Like nobody. Oh, even right? Amazing the, shot. Terrible defense. Like terrible yeah. defense. That shot. That, look, look, nobody this. there, yo. This is like the Harlem Grove Trotters and shit. Thank you. Right, All like, the look at this like, look, this look at that. Even even if he caught KD with the nutmeg, LeBron just watched him. Like, can sir, we, what is we, the difference between the NBA and the Harlem Globetrotters? Somebody tell me. I don't me. know, man. It's, I don't know. It's the same shit. Everybody traveling. Everybody. Yep. Yeah, it's the same shit, bro. Like, I don't mm-hmm. know. It's like, yeah, I mean, look at that shit. That's bullshit, bro. Like, it's graceful. Yo, I, do you see at the end? Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this game bro, now. They bro. run it a weave, bro. bro listen, <laughs> we can't even <laughs> talk we can't even talk about NBA no more. This some shit you uh, see at JV, maybe. Terrible, terrible. Like students like, versus teacher league or some shit. I don't, I don't even know. know man. Like, wh- there's no effort whatsoever. And you heard what um Halliburton told. He said, "Damn, sound like my pops." <laughs> mm. Like I'm like, that's that's crazy. Millions and millions of dollars are being lost. <laughs> billions. Now, now look, think about, think about all the money that's on that on the floor, right? This is. And this this is the best player in the world. Like, come on, man. Was that two hundred and eleven versus one hundred and eighty six? That's what that was, G. That's what that was. So they said that um because no NBA game had ever hit two hundred points before, they had to cover the scoreboard because there wasn't a two in the in that column. So they had to cover the scoreboard. I'm like, that that's disgusting. So when they went um when Adam Silver gave the trophy at the end for winning, he was like, well, you scored the most points, so. He was disgusted, and he, and he should be. But guess what? He's allowed it to get to this place, so he can't be mad, you know. And then, like we say, it it's really hard when um, and I'm not hating on the dudes for getting it, but it's hard to keep the motivation when dudes are making that much money, right? It's like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, what can motivate these dudes? I, I don't know, man. I I just don't know. That was the worst, goddamn. Clips that you can show, man. That shit was terrible, bro. Terrible. I, I commend you for having to go through all of the tape yeah. to even play that. Like that's painful in itself. Like I know you was like, Jesus Christ, like come yeah, on, yeah, like, yeah. Like was no y'all, not, y'all not gonna try at all. Y'all are not gonna yeah. try at all. Like come we'll on, take away from the game. They don't know, and then we wonder why the people have LeBron as their goal. But but look though. But when I when I talk about the modern NBA. I'm a hater. You can't though. find no clips like that from the I'm 90s, bro. Like, 90s. you can't. Even in the All Star yeah, game, like, it was competing. You can't. You can't, right. bro. Like, Shaq dunked on a uh, 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 motherfucking. Uh, oh, D Rob. He tried to break his back. And now the. David Robson. He, he yes. rock kicked him under the and, hydros, yo. And I think that game was in San Antonio, too. Yeah, it was. Yo. It yo. was. He drop yeah. kicked them under the hydros, yo. Like, so I, he did I don't know fuck what happened. I'm always going to remember that. Like, it yeah. was unnecessary. However, it was so necessary for the sport. And now we see, like, this shit, man, I might as well watch the Harlem Grove Trotters for, like, $20 cheaper. Yeah, man, it was. I, I couldn't believe. My mom used to take us to see the Globe Trotters, and, and when we were kids, when they came to the DC Armory, she used to take us over there to see it. Man, that was that was cool. That was a show. Yeah, but yeah, might as well be watching the Globe Trotters. Like, for real. Like, yeah, it's next and, thing and, you know I, they're gonna be sliding on the floor and shit, mm-hmm. moving the ball down the field like Zeke was. <laughs> right, but I, I love though that President Obama called it out, and Halliburton had nothing to say. What was he gonna say? You know what I mean? So. But yeah, Man, it's like it's like that remember smile don't, that smile, he ain't got no enemies with that smile. 
And I know, I know you know what the, the, the good book of Quran say about about uh, uh, enemies and shit. Like, I, I ain't even gonna go there with you. Nah, like, please don't. You don't look like he got one. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, never mind. I digress. I digress. I digress. I ain't going there. Oh man. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. But that's yeah, why, it's that's crazy, though. That's why we brothers, yo. That's why we no brothers. Doubt. That's why no we brothers. Doubt. Yeah, this dude don't look like he had an enemy in his whole life, bro. I'm, I'm just saying, though, he might not. All right, but you, you're right. But I mean, <laughs> hey, he, I'm just saying, he might have had a I good morning. I know I fucked you up with that one. We're right, right, we gonna let it slide. <laughs> we're gonna let it slide. I fucked you up with that one. Well, it's okay. I, finally, I got a win, nigga. It, uh -huh. sorry, my bad. it no, took you... about 20, 20 years. <laughs> How long I know you about 20 years. Uh, a long time, man. Was that 06? Yeah. 06, 06 man. Yeah. February 06, man. Yes, sir. That's oh right. man. Good times, good times. But yeah, man. Um, I'm just I'm just looking at it. And I'm like, yo, this is it's just freaking crazy. Like, remember when Bruce called in early and he was talking about the 90s and the effort and the the defense and all that? Like it just disappeared. That's it, Steve. You're one thousand percent right. There it is. Mm-hmm. Yep. He's he's a thousand percent right. Like this 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 whole total like competition is a relevant thing is it, man. Ooh, no, you're hundred percent right, Steve. You're right. Yeah, when when Jimmy Butler had the picture with him with a bang, I knew it was oh, over for the league. Yeah. I knew it was over for the league. I'm like, ah, yeah. there's no way, yo. There's yeah, no I way. I don't know what that was. There's about. no way. This is a, a fucking sideshow. Like yeah, yeah, Chris, you're right. 06 was a great year, man. I was a hell out. Who's that? What the hell? I don't know. That's your boy. <laughs> 06 was a great year, though. What the hell? I think he's in Mexico. He might be in Cancun already. Okay, he okay. stay on vacation. He stay on vacation. Bro. That's what's up. Oh man, that's funny. 1906. I would have to ask my great grandmother, who's not with us anymore. Um, no, but the dunk contest was a rite of passage for for the great players. And no, you're 100 percent right, Steve. And I think that was a that was a huge part of it. But again, man, competition don't mean anything to most of these guys now. So we got what we got. Um, yeah, crazy. I'm having, I'm having fun. Yeah, definitely. I I, I love this Obama topic topic though. He came in and, you know, he kept it 100 and he, and he kept it real. I loved when he uh, told the stories about him, you know, hooping as the president and and then, uh, you know, broke down who who he enjoys looking at as teams and players. And then, of course, a man went in on this crappy all-star game. I thought that was real cool. All right. So what I'm going to do now, I'm gonna put the uh, phone number. Yeah, man. You already know, Steve. I'm going to put the phone number in the chat. 904-219. 8264-904-219-8264. And of course, it's scrolling um on the bottom of the screen. So if anybody wants to call, um, yeah, give it give us a shout. Give us a shout. we we are waiting. Whether you call them from Florida, you call them from B more, you call them from PR, wherever you call them from, give us a shout. Yo, speaking of that, I gotta reach out to him. Um, Nick from Australia, he just vanished. You notice that? Yeah. He hasn't been around for a while. I gotta see what's good with him. Yeah, yeah I gotta. Man, I gotta. Life be life, man. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Life Chris said life. he joined the army in 06, too. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Chris, Chris, about to get his uh warrant officer. So. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. That's a good look. That is really ain't real. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Steve is Steve is wild. That's my I dog can, right there, man. Yeah, if, Steve, he go, if Steve go missing, man, we gonna we gonna have to go track this motherfucker down. Yeah, you gotta get you know, the I got a means to end. So that's it, man. We gotta get the read. Yeah, that's the re my dog, alert. man. That's go find dog, him. <laughs> yeah, Steve, keep me honest. No I'll doubt, no doubt. Oh, here you go, Bruce. All right, let's take this call. Damn, Bruce. Bruce was good, brother. <laughs> I'm gonna make it quick. You know, I ain't gonna hold the hold the line up. Ain't no line, man. Take your time. <laughs> ain't no line, dog. Take your time, chief. Oh, Trans, time, bro. Trans, Trans ain't even here today, man. Trans took the day off. Man, you got to say oh, the whole Obama? thing. You can't call that man Trans, man. You got to call him Transformer, bro. You got to say the whole thing. Yeah, right. 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 No disrespect. 
What you got, Bruce? Well, I will say uh, Obama was 100% correct about the All-Star game. Mm -hmm. uh, the players, the modern-day NBA players are entitled. Uh, yes. They got the power, actually. Um, the NBA is, is greedy for money, so mm -hmm. they're going to do as the, the inmates say. The inmates are running the asylum right now in the NBA. Mm -hmm. Like, every time a super megastar gets upset when they do demand a trade and the trade happens. Yeah. And let them try that shit in, in, in the NFL. That shit ain't happening. Ain't going to happen, Cap. No. Nope. The, the good old the good old boy network got the iron fist in the NFL. Ain't none of that shit going down. Mm -hmm. but, but, like, um, yeah, the, the All-Star game is uh, unwatchable. I haven't watched it in the last two years. I haven't watched it. I just touched the highlights because it's a laughable event. People pay their hard-earned money. Right. And... They not getting a good product. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the All Star Games in the nineties, them boys went at it. They were serious about their shit. Yeah. Because it was uh, bragging Mike, rights, you know. Gary Payton and them, they picking up full court, mm -hmm. talking straight trash. Yeah. They trying to dunk on shit. Yo. Mike out there popping shit. Mm -hmm. Now with these niggas are shooting threes. Why? This is like a a, a, a walkthrough. It's like a they like to plan fifty put out out there. It's not even. Crazy. It just, it just, it's embarrassing, man. No effort. Because remember when everybody's um, scared, everybody is so scared to get nicked. Man, life, live your life. You get nicked, uh, opening your door, coming from the market, walk up the steps, walk up three flights of steps, uh, uh, accidentally slip back and, and fall down the five stairs and slip and break your shoulder. I mean, any you can get nicked any type of way in life. True indeed. You get paid, you all getting paid quarter of a billion dollars. So, uh, at, um, you know, far as like throughout your contract, 50 mil. 60 mil, you know what I'm saying? A year, and you can't get the people a good show. Yeah. It's just, it just embarrassing, and I hate it. That's why I hate the NBA until the playoffs, because they do put some effort in in the playoffs, uh, more than they what do. they do in the regular season. Well, they get sick in the playoffs. They do get sick. I give them that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <clears throat> the All-Star game is a joke. The dunk contest is a joke. And that's another reason why LeBron, I had to take my LeBron number one, rank it down. There's another reason why he'll never be number one. There's one thing about Michael Jeffrey Jordan. He, he went to the he he got the dunk contest in the in the hit shit. Mm -hmm. just one of the greatest dunkers of all time. Mm -hmm. Understand what I'm saying? I, I, I had to slap myself. Like, you know, damn well LeBron is not better than Jordan. I'm, I don't mean to get into the LeBron Jordan debate. I'm just saying mm -hmm. I had to check myself. Like, come on now. You know, damn well LeBron ain't got the same heart that you know LeBron ain't got the same heart Jordan got. Even though I don't like Jordan as a person. That motherfucker was a devil on a basketball court. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He, was, he was a devil, man. He, he it just was. Well, I, I went back, like, watched all the um the six finals. Like, about last weekend, I watched all the um condensed games of okay. all the uh, finals that he was in. Oh, that's what's up. And, and just to you know, just to go back and just to recollect and reflect, like, this is Michael Jordan, man. Like, mm -hmm. this guy, no, Le LeBron is not. He's no. Even though I don't like Jordan as a person. Mm -hmm. I think he's a mean man, but falls on that basketball court. He, LeBron is, is, is second, and a distant second, truthfully. Okay. Um, but like the All Star Game is a joke. They need to back. Uh, they need to er eradicate that shit. Whatever you want to say, bad and shit. Uh, a mm. dick with a dick of grave for that shit. I think it's just embarrassing. It, they no. should be fine for embarrassing us like this. <laughs> the product. One Yo, thing. I'm, listen, right. another thing. I don't care. I like <coughs> what's the new one? What's the new commissioner name again? What's Adam the name? Silver. Um, Adam Silver. I like Adam Silver. David Stern had the NBA just right where it was supposed to be. Man, he was that was at the that was the peak of NBA play mm -hmm. when David Stern ran the NBA. I don't think it I don't think it'll ever get back to that, man. It'll honestly. never get the back to David Stern. He is the true uh, alpha of that as far as like the running the NBA, the key to commissioner. David Stern. And when he had the NBA, it was the, at his best. Yeah. I think, in, in fairness, you're right. But I think also David Stern, he had a little luck with him. Think about it. He became the commissioner in, what, 84? So by then, yes. Magic and Bird were in their fourth. They're going into their, what, um, fifth season, right? Yeah. Fifth so they're season, in the league yeah. five years already. The league is already on an uptick. And then he gets lucky in the 84 class. And who does he get? Um he gets, of course, Michael Jordan, Hakeem Olajuwon, Olajuwon. Um, Charles yeah. Barkley, John Stockton, Clyde right? Drexler. Well, Drexler, yeah. I think, was 82. But the point is, okay, okay, he, okay, he, gotcha. he lucked out with a lot. Not, I don't mean Absolutely. lucked out by them, but his timing was perfect yeah. in taking over commissionership when yeah. you get the guy that's going to be the absolute rocket ship to take this thing 
into the stratosphere. Like Magic and Bird lifted it into the clouds and Jordan took yeah. it, you know, places we couldn't even have imagined. So he, he definitely locked, lucked out, excuse me, to some extent on having that. And he just worked to take it to the next level. So I, I get what you're saying, though. You're right. Adam, I'm going to be on my Kanye Adam, shit and say that uh, David Stern was, I mean, as far as the game is concerned, he kept it a certain type of way. But when it came to, like, culture, he wasn't as diverse as he should have been for the league. I think I totally disagree. Have, you totally disagree? Totally disagree. I mean, well, well what stops a player from wearing a bro? certain type of way? Um, so what stops a player from wearing a certain type of pants? What stops gonna, a player from wearing whatever the fuck you want to wear? And and then now that you, you if you fast forward from David Stern, you see that these motherfucking players wear whatever the hell they want to wear. But it's why a was it an issue? Because it's a why I'm was it an issue I, at that time? I'm about to tell you why. Number one, right? Number one, today is a totally different era. People clear there's no standards today. Everybody could do whatever they want today. So you can't compare today. Why Second, you couldn't do that shit yesterday, though? Is about to, hold on, bro. I'm about to, you asked me a question. Do you want the answer? Do you want the answer? I just don't understand how you can like I'm about to answer back off of like nobody's perfect, right? Like he did some things that was really good, but he failed in a lot of places. Like he failed I'm, in a lot of ways. I'm about to explain it. He 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 kind of leaned towards stereotypes. When it came to certain types of players, so so do you want to do you want to listen? Do you want to listen now? I can, I can listen to you all day long, yo. That's not going to change how I feel. You, like that, that's that's fine, <laughs> but you're asking me a question. I'm, I listen I'm, to you all day. That's not going to change how I feel about the shit. Like I felt like yo handled some shit wrong, and he did a good job with certain things. I think the the whole out off the court shit was handled it completely wrong. Like I I don't think you should. It it, it shouldn't matter. How you show up to the game? You, oh yeah, you got to wear a suit. What is this? Shouldn't? Hey, what is this? Shouldn't? Hey, shouldn't is? Hold on, let me cut. Hey Jane, let me cut in real quick and let and let and let uh Bruce go. You right about that, but I'm talking about how, how the game was the, the game was played, not nothing else. I'm talking about the game was better. Oh yeah, no question. The game play was better. No what I'm question. Saying? Consistent. It was a consistent. The game play was just a little better. During those times, that's all I'm saying. He had to step down for a reason, though. He had to step down for a reason. He had to step down for a reason. Okay, go ahead, bro. All right, so here's the deal. G asked me a question. Why was that? Okay, cool. So here's the deal. I'm going to start it with a question of my own. Why was the NBA in such bad shape when Magic Johnson and um, Larry Bird came in that they had to save it? The primary reason, the number one reason, and this is not my opinion. You could look this up. The league was thought to be too black. Right. That's that's not my opinion. That is a reason. Right. That's real deal. The league was thought right. to be too black. Now. Now, here's here's a little bit of numbers. I don't know how recently you checked the demographics in this country or the census. Right. The United States is made up of 12 percent black people, 60 percent white people. Right. So. Yeah. So we have to. Unfortunately, when you're dealing in business, when you're dealing in business, you have to appeal to the masses. Does that make it 100% right? No, but it's a business. You have to deal with advertisers. You have to deal with viewers. You have to deal with consumers to buy your product, right? And so that's why that's why the Magic and Bird thing was so perfect, right? Because you had the Great White Hope, Bird, and then you had Magic. So you had it was a perfect dichotomy of America, right? So cool, you had all that. But now you have to deal with business. And the fact is, do you really think David Stern cared how these dudes came dressed to the game? No, but guess what? The advertisers, which have to do with money, you can't, you, you can't say that. You can't. Uh, say no, that. No, I'm you finished. Can't, you cannot say that he did not, not care. You can't say you, you can't say that he didn't care because he enforced it. He enforced you're certain rules. Asking me a question, you're not allowing me to finish. No, right. Yeah. The real deal is David Stern's job is to work for the owners and to create and to increase the revenue for the league, right? And if advertisers are telling you that people are not buying a product because they turned off from what they see, you make the correction, you make the correction that will allow for the advertisers to come back and make more money. So if we're 1,000% here, if David Stern doesn't make the move that he makes, the league might not be in the position it is today for all these cats to get all this money that they're getting. Bruce, are you are you 
following what I'm saying? You don't have to I'm agree, but it. are you I'm following what I'm saying? Yeah. So, right. So that that allowed the advertisers to really come back, further get in bed with the NBA, right? Because yes, mm-hmm. it, it allowed them to come back, further get in bed with the NBA, make more money, continue to push these salaries up, which helps with where the salaries are today. So basically, what it is is David Stern was thinking about the money. And you cannot alienate 60% of the population for 12%. That math ain't mathing. I don't care what you think or how you feel. Not you, but in general, I don't care what you think or how you feel. 60, it's not worth it in any business to alienate 60% for 12. Does that make sense? It doesn't. It doesn't. That's, that's what, what it is. What, what I'm going to say is I'm, I'm going to talk to a bigger issue. Right? Like we talk about mm-hmm. inclusion and diversity, right? Like a lot of times, when you look at the ownership, there was no inclusion, there was no diversity. And so when they look at the person, they look at them from a stereotypical point. They say, hey, listen, if you dress a certain way or you look a certain way, that means that you was this, right? That's not how the world works. But that if you talk, the world hold, 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 hold. I let you cook. I let you go cook. Ahead, go ahead. We didn't talk about diversion and inclusion and how big of a movement that was up until now. If it wasn't for those guys who Say, you know what? Fuck you. I'm wearing whatever the fuck I want to wear to this game, right? We wouldn't have this this outlash. They didn't lose no money from Allen Iverson hitting 40. They didn't lose no money from Michael Jordan hitting 30. Allen Iverson wearing bolted joints with motherfucking long. They didn't lose no money, bro. This was advantageous to them. And but what they lacked was diversity, diversity and inclusion. Like real talk. Like the world don't revolve around white. Middle-aged white men. It doesn't happen. There is a different type of people all over the world. But but I can understand what you're saying. At the same time, like sometimes you have to each one you got to teach them, right? If I'm making your money, right? If I'm I'm the cash cow, right? And I decide I want to wear certain. That's why we got the collecting bargain agreements and the players and organization, and we got the NCAA and all these other things because one. Listen, you can't control what I, the fuck I wear to the games, bro. That's 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 that modern, that's that that slavery mentality. Like that shit don't work in in this in this industry right now. Yo, it's diversity and inc- inclusion. And when you have everybody look like one person, you are gonna have these issues where people don't understand. Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna wear what I want to wear because you wear you wear t shirts, you wear t shirts, you wear motherfucking slacks. You do all these things, like why can I wear what I want to wear? Now it and it went totally off the liquor scale when you start looking at NFL and how these guys dress. But when we talk about like just wearing braids in your head and people and David Stern want everybody to wear a suit to the game, right? And then players like, oh yeah, no. Okay, we'll do it this week, but we ain't doing it next week. And then next week turn into like, oh, we're not doing it at all because. And next thing you know, they moving David Stern out of his position and they bringing in somebody who's more diverse, right? Because that's the thing, bro. Like, you got to understand, like, at one time, African-Americans wasn't allowed to, to play this sport. A lot of them weren't allowed to play quarterback. Some of them weren't allowed to play point guard. However, Gee, you muted. You muted. You muted. I mute myself. I, yeah, you I got yourself. But diversity and inclusion is the reason why we don't have a David Stern. He did Guess a really what? good job. He David did a really Stern, good job. He didn't, he didn't get removed. He retired. You know that, right? Listen, sometimes you get pushed out. Okay. Sometimes you get pushed out and re, re, retire. Right? Like sometimes did you know happens. the NBA still has a dress code? Did you know that? Who follows it? Yeah, that's not. No, no. That's, so The question is, who follows it, bro? Like, that's what I'm saying. That's who follows it. The, the but current this guy was, he had a net. He had a net. And, and at that time, sir, at that time, there was no diversity and inclusion. There was no diversity and inclusion. You no, there was black. You didn't have African American owners. And so one 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 race dictated what still who was who and what was who. Huh? You still don't have African American owners. You do have minority. Michael Jordan is a minority owner. Oh, oh minority. Okay. I'm, yes, I'm yes, talking sir, about yes, majority owner. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, but yes, okay, sir. okay. All I'm right. not talking about the whole thing, but what I'm in, what I am saying is that like those things matter, bro. Like they those matter. Like it matters. We don't like to talk about it because it's it's a sore spot in America's history, but it's still <laughs> part of American history. It I is. Understand. Like, I understand yeah, that. 
That's it. I'm not saying what you're saying is wrong, bro. Like, I no, promise I'm not you're not. I'm, true. I'm just, I'm just yeah. adding an extra, an extra layer to it. Like, diversity I, and inclusion is something that was not taken into consideration when it came to, you know, a certain sport, certain sports in America. That's all I'm saying. I understand mm. all of that. Okay. The only thing was you, you asked me and I responded because it's very simple in my eyes. It's about the dope. It's about the dope. And you do what you got to do as long as it's not illegal to get the money. That is what this thing is. We keep forgetting that it's a business first. We love to look at it as competition and as a sport. And and I wish I wish too. Yet yeah, there is there is still uh, a dress code, Steve. But and and I w- I wish so. But guess what? It's a business first and foremost. So why are you with? So why are you with? Say again, Bruce. You you were breaking up, brother. Say it again. I said why do why do you wish it was a dress code? Why why do I wish that? Did I say that? Why? Yes, you said you wish it was a dress code. Why do you wish it was a dress code? I don't, do you wish it was? Do I, you agree with the dress code policy I'm, or you don't? I don't disagree with the dress code policy. I don't. Because I believe that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I got to address uh, Lincoln Nation because he said something that's like, it's, it's okay, Bruce. Uh, let me, let me, you can, you can put that on the jump. You can put that on the jump. Um, oh. It's okay, Bruce. G doesn't understand how the world was in the 1980s. That's completely fabricated. And Lincoln Nation, you cool, but at the same time, I gotta I gotta check you on the shit because I was born in 79. So I know how it was in the 80s. I grew up. I don't right. know how old you are, but to 80s. just like constantly screw that the, 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 the put that type of narrative out there is false. I understand how it was. However, we are 2000 <laughs> and it's okay. We we in the 2000s is okay to look back and say, hey, look, this was wrong. And maybe if this wouldn't happen. We didn't. We wouldn't have as many players who was butthurt about what the dress code was and or like what what they had to go through. We don't know uh, unless you played. You don't know what they went through. However, from fifty thousand feet, I'm gonna look at it and say, all right, eighty was kind of fucked up, right? It was kind of fucked up. It was certain things that these players had to go through to other players, especially when you look at Boston and how racist that motherfucking uh 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 um corporation was i'm gonna say corporation and not um team because that's a, that's exactly what it is and we and it doesn't matter like are you talking about this? Of, are you yes, talking about this Celtics, Celtics in the 80s yes sir yes, oh sir. I was say, that's interesting being the celtics drafted the first black player into the nba and had the first black uh head coach in the nba what does so, that mean bro what does that mean, I, mean I, I, I don't know it was the first they was the first to hire niggas is that what we said for, for a racist bro, like, when they, they clearly said, said, the Redskins was the same. The Redskins, sir. The Redskins. We're not saying the commanders. The Redskins was the first to, to hire a black person. So that's not you're not saying nothing. And the name is it, I mean, okay, well, you was the first to abolish racism. Good. Problem. That shit should have never existed. You should never judge well, a man by the color. Can't do anything about that. The content of his fucking character. No, yeah, but no, you can't a, hold him. You human trait. Like it's always been there. Racism is a human trait. Go you, back into okay this. Okay. Always been. Okay I'm not okay saying I'm okay with it. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, what what I'm saying is we. It's 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 ideal that we should judge people by. Nobody gets a pass, yo. Nobody gets a pass. Nobody I'm gets a pass. Not, is that nobody what I said? Nobody gets a pass. I'm just Why saying. Nobody. I'm not. I'm not saying this towards you, sir. I'm saying nobody oh. gets a fucking pass. Tomorrow. Yeah. No. I, I understand that. All I'm As saying. Man, is, nobody gets a pass. Is okay. You, it's either not, right or it's wrong, bro. And if it's mm. wrong, then I'm, I'm gonna call you out on your bullshit. Okay, yeah, but what I'm saying is not five years, three years. The shit was wrong. It should have never happened. You got a time machine. The shit was wrong. It shouldn't have happened. I got it. You got a time machine? Time machine? I don't need yeah, a time machine. I don't need a time machine, but you okay, don't get so a pass. You don't get no, a fucking you pass because you was the, the first motherfucker to let niggas play. Like, no, you don't get a pass. No, but you, you're not. You're not. Okay. What I'm not saying. What I'm saying is you. Oh, good pick. Let's go A&M. Come on. No, what I'm, what I'm saying is you're, you're making the argument that the Celtics are some are historically racist they, organization. They, they still wild as the shit. Absolutely not true. They still wild as the shit up. Y'all, there, you need, like, y'all need to go. You, no, the fans. You, you need, you need to go read about Red R back then. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me speak. The fans are not the organization. That that's what I'm that's what I'm that, trying to say. That that's, is well documented that the, the Boston Celtics fans are, are racist. It's well documented. 
uh, 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 what's my man? Uh, Bill Russell got a whole documentary about yeah, yeah, yeah. On, uh, yeah, I know. on Netflix. Yeah, I, I talked about that before. Understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not the organization most definitely not real. Oh, Ray Allbuck is a uh, black white man. That's that's what I'm that's what I'm trying that's to tell you. That's what I'm trying to tell G. Ray Allbuck, a true gangster for real. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, 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 nobody can tell me nothing, bro. I study this shit though, like. Nobody can tell me anything. Cool. All right, so go, that's cool. Go go study that's Red Alpha then. Go I don't study. have to, bro. Like, I know America. I know American history. I don't have to study that. I all don't. All right. I don't, bro. So, I don't. All right. All right. You good. You talk so, about diversity and inclusion, and then now you're telling me how. No, no. No, you. Same shit. You 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 made a definitive statement about a particular organization, and I'm telling you that's not the case. And now I'm you're telling me you don't have to go study it. That's that's that's, that's what I'm not, I'm not mad Celtics. about the Celtics. I'm a proponent of history. I already did, bro. Like it's cool though. Like it's all right. Like it's cool. But it's it's cool. They like right. to call people niggas. It's cool. All right, all right. I mean, but but it's funny that you it's always point though. to Boston as if that doesn't happen in any other city. Like, are we for real? We for real? We got all these teams in the South, and but you know, I'm not even going to do that. Let's let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and. Move it to the final topic. He was, Bruce, he was talking about David Stern. He was talking about David Stern. All right, all right. He was talking about David Stern. Yo. He was talking about David Stern. Oh, he was you, talking you, about David Stern, though, and the nigga er. He was talking about David Stern and how he viewed a certain demographic. We, we were talking about David Stern, how he was doing his job to make sure he didn't alienate. You Adam. call it. You call it his job, but I look at it differently, and I see. If you were in that position, that's if it. you. I position. see him as a bigot, and you okay. can you can stand up for him. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He was a I'm fucking bigot. Hey, well, he yo. was hey, a well, bigot. Well, like, yo, that's it. All right, cool. That's that's fine. You feel that way. I, I don't know if you've ever spoken to him. That's don't cool. Disagree but, to disagree, fellas. That's all. I ain't nothing. Nah, okay. no doubt. I'm just one way. I'm just trying you to figure out one way. Let him feel how you want to feel. Nah, that's cool. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to figure out if G was in that position and advertisers were telling him this is costing us money. Would you do if nothing? I say, about if I say a certain demographic no. was yes causing no. me money, right, because they did something different, then yeah, okay, all right. I'm like, oh, man, wow. However, there's a, a part of an integrity part that says, hey, listen, it doesn't matter. Like, this dude is what? dropping 40 points a game. You don't who know who's how- telling me who is yeah. telling me because the fans pay the goddamn tickets to come watch this you, motherfucker play bro, basketball. Do you who really cares that, what he looked like? Yo, that's like, where comes from? man, like that's bullshit, bro. You like, think that's where the money comes from from he the was fans? A bigot, yo. He was a bigot. All right, cool. All right, we got it. You got it. You got it. You, you, you should have been a bigot, yo. Like that's the whole thing. And and we don't know. We don't know what you saying. Exactly. You don't know. From to speak the point of view you speaking from, you don't know. I do know. I do know. Go, know. Go, go do you look. know. Why do you? Why do you say you know these things? Why do you because say, I've read why about do you it. Think you know these things because I've read about it, and that's how business what you works. Read about what you read. All right, about? all right, got you. When we get off, I'm gonna break down. No, 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 no. When we get off, I'm gonna get you some stuff because you, you're not. It's, and it's really cool. Don't you don't have to agree with what I'm saying. It's not like if a Michael Jordan, if a Michael Jordan decide not to show up, I like up, the passion. I like the passion. Like the people not gonna play. Do you, like, it's not like if an Allen Iverson don't show up, that people not going like he. These are cash caps that he targeted. He openly targeted like these mm-hmm. are cash caps that he targeted based off of what they wore and stereotypes. There was mm-hmm. no diversity and inclusion at the time amongst a mm-hmm. lot of goddamn companies, bro. A lot of companies mm-hmm. didn't have diversity and inclusion, and so they piggyback on what was going on in the seventies and the eighties, and that's why it was. It wasn't frowned upon, but you telling me there's a business model to say, "Oh yeah, uh, absolutely." A bit. All right, cool, cool. I got you. Let, let's we get we can argue this all day. We can, yeah, like Bruce said, we can we agree. Can, we can, bro. But I mean, it's not com- it's common knowledge. It's, it's, it's right. not it's not common knowledge. I mean, unless you, knowledge, you, bro, if you if you spoke to them, that's cool. They if you spoke up, they was biggest, bro. You telling me they wasn't based I, off of money? Like I'm talking on. about. I'm talking about there are business considerations when you run a corporation. That's a fact. That's not my why, opinion. So, why, why do you go above and beyond and pick these players and then try to control them? What? Why do you go above hey. and beyond to recruit soldiers in the army and try to re- control them? Hey, they do what you That's say. With, no, no with, we're not bringing the army in and shit. It's different. It's different. Come on, man. It's different. 
It's not every, even the same, bro. It's not company, even the same. I'm not going to let you lean on that shit. It's not the same. The same. We talk yeah. about civilians versus you soldiers. Want, and you're not going to do that, yo. You're not gonna no. Do what you talking about? That. And, yeah, there was, that, right. there was definitely the same shit that was going on in the military that's going on in the civilian side. However, the military was probably the first fucking organization that said, you know what? We're not going to allow for this shit. But these organizations continue to have the same type of bigotry and, and control over because, hey, listen, we need people to fight, right? We need you, we need you to fight. We need you to lay your life down. And so, hey, look, we won't play a fair. You, any, everybody's green. Everybody's green. Everybody's blue. Everybody's fucking whatever other colors those those branches are. But the only thing that I'm saying, bro, and I'm not trying to like. I'm not trying to buck heads with you, shorty. Like I promise you, I'm not. But what I will say is, is there's a different that there's layers to the shit, man. And like there was no diversity and inclusion. Like there was no diversity and inclusion. There wasn't those those HR reps that's there to say this shit is racist and you can't fucking do it. And so these motherfuckers ran wild in the '80s, yo. They ran wild. They was like, oh my gosh, you can't. You know what I mean? Like, listen, we're gonna kick the kids out the house. We're gonna kick the father out the house. Like, hey, what, what up? This is different. Hold on, hold on. Bruce, what up? <laughs> well, Gene got Gene got a sprinkle of truth from what he's saying because <laughs> there ain't no motherfucking sprinkle truth, of truth. Bro. Like, no, 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 and yeah, if it was, was and if right. it was, they right. had to fight tooth and nail for everything. Gene, you all right? I was ready to talk. Bring up what's the guy name in L.A. Uh, uh Bert. Which which guy in L.A. By the way, the Donald the, Sterling got caught. Oh, got Donald caught Sterling. Yeah, that dude was terrible. Yeah, that dude was terrible. So, Gene, he kind. I feel. I feel him. I feel like yeah. No, I, I, I got to call out bullshit with my head. I don't care who it comes from. Like, that's my dog. It, though, I've been knowing him for twenty years. That's my dog. However, there was a strike, and then that strike, these guys really did have like the strike. I, I, I'm not gonna say it, it, it happened because of you know whatever reason, but there was they, David Stern wasn't like he wasn't a, he was a dirty sock too at the time. And listen to what people say about him. Listen to what these players say about him. He was a dirty sock. He was targeting right. certain players, yo. Based right, so, off of the color of skin. Okay, NBA Players Association was founded in 1954, though. So. Who cares? You, know, you just you care. You care. You just you know, there was no players association. You care. You I keep saying you it. I know, you're wrong. I know, I know that you just wrong. Google searched that. And since <laughs> was probably founded before that. What did they do for? Because I wanted to make sure that, that I was right when I said Next that time. was the players association at the time. But all right, hey Bruce, man, we gotta let you go so we can move on to the final topic. Not, I'm not gonna be quick to say that. Like, like, real talk, man. Right. Right. Everybody know me. They, you know, everybody know me. I'm not quick to say nobody. If the shit bullshit, I'm calling you out. I don't care who you That's are. That's cool. What what race? I don't care. Everybody know that. Like it's some bullshit. That shit was bullshit. And you can't tell me you watched the game for as long as you have, and you see some shit. You was like, oh man, that's bullshit. Yo, real talk. Because I remember having this argument with my other homeboy in Brooklyn when this was happening. I don't care at all. I didn't care then. I don't care now. You know why? You making all this freaking money? Is it gonna hurt you to dress? Is it is it gonna hurt you to dress up a little more professionally? Is it gonna freaking hurt you? You making all this goddamn bread? Is it gonna hurt you? You know why it's not gonna hurt you? But see, these cats not thinking ahead. Guess what? If you dress and look a little more professional, what does that mean to you? That means that means you have an opportunity. If you're a great player, right, you're a man first. First, first, oh, first, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It don't I'm, make if you. It don't I'm, matter if you make two hundred million dollars or two thousand dollars. Oh man! Nobody can fucking Speaking, hold up, bro. Man, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What I'm saying is this. And it's this. If you're in a position, right, where this could possibly be costing you endorsement deals or whatever, you're taking money off your own table because you want to keep it real and dress how the hell you want to dress. Guess what? Go get that dope. It's not hurting you to put on, if you want to call it the monkey suit or whatever it is, it's not going to hurt you to put on a damn suit and come to the game, right? It's not going to hurt you. So do it. You get an extra dough. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to make you less of a man. What the hell is the problem? This is so dumb to me. You're my brother and we, we signed our rights over and they gave us a uniform. I no doubt. When it comes to civilians, it's different, bro. Like it, it, it's just different. 
you can't tell somebody what the way to work. You can't That's tell them. Can. Most jobs have a dress code. Yes, you can. Not Most not if you can can have a dress code. Like if you bring it in 150 uh, million followers, you can't tell me what the fuck to do, bro. Like if I'm dropping 40 million for your organization, it doesn't matter if you me, oh, my organization, I can tell you how to dress. I can tell you what you can and can't no, say publicly, no, or there will be repercussions. This, this is America. This is America. Land guess, what? Free. guess what, though? Guess what, right? When you say that, when you say things like that, it, it takes away from your constitutional right. Gee, gee, it check this. Does. Right? They're like, you might not see it before, bro. Like, I, I, I listened to a podcast the other day, and it had um David Pollock on there, right? David Pollock used to be um uh, uh NFL and college football and I'm telling you because I knew you was going to say that. Now listen, he used to be. He, Nobody he put, gives a shit what David Pollock has. Damn, gee, hold the hold the hell on, bro. Damn. So he he was an All American player at Georgia when he played uh defensive line for Georgia. He played in the NFL briefly, got injured at a stop, but he was a he was an ESPN analyst, college and pro football. So anyway, the reason I bring this up is because he he got cut in the layoffs for um he got cut in the layoffs with ESPN, and what happened was. He was on another podcast and they were asking him about, you know, ESPN and do they kind of control what you can and can't say. Right. So he's like, well, they don't tell you specifically you can and can't say certain things, but they let you know that even though your social media platforms are your own, that you represent this company with the things you say and do with your content. Right. So I say it to say that even though that's a civilian company, right. If you do stuff that they feel is detrimental to their company, which really means detrimental to the bottom line, they can discipline you for it or even fire you for it. So what you're saying is a civilian company can't tell you how to dress. Civilian company can't tell you what to say. Yes, they freaking can. Just about every company I've ever worked for on the outside, on the outside, like I was in jail, but but in the civilian world, they have a dress code. They do. Sure. What sure. it is. Sure. Sure, Dude, sure. You can do that. It's a private entity, sure. guys. I think the issue is, is like you're talking about what people wear to the arena, not what they wear on the basketball court. But that's so what you're wearing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What they wear on the basketball court is a uniform. But you're telling me before I play and make my money that you get to dictate what I wear off the court, right? Off the court, when I'm alone, when I'm in the house, what I do. You, I mean, you pretty much controlling me as if I'm a slave for a amount of money. That's the only thing I'm saying. Now, now when I when I step on the basketball court and I represent the company, I'm wearing a company uniform, much like you do. That, that, that would almost be like somebody telling you what you have to wear when you're not in uniform, right? You wear civilians. They don't dictate what type of civilian attire you wear. They don't tell you that. No, they don't. Really? You sure about that? So no, if I'm I were positive. I've never seen anybody. Hold on. Hold on. So, nobody, I'm not nobody, Sir, nobody is enforcing the civilian attire. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, if I'm a civilian and I'm not working and I freaking have on a damn shirt with a damn Nazi symbol, I don't know what the hell the thing is called, but you know that weird thing. What um, the fuck is that? This is what I'm saying. I guarantee you. you said civilians. You said civilians. If I had that joint on in my civilians, I guarantee you I would be reprimanded for it. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. You see, so you see what I'm saying? You're saying the cornrows is equivalent. Cornrows is equivalent to a Nazi symbol. So don't that's don't say absolutely that. not what I said. That's what absurd. I'm saying is what I'm that's saying. That's absurd. Is, what I'm saying is is that's, that's, that's two things can be true, right? But at the same time, there's a reason why that um, diversity and inclusion is so important in, in today's. Like I blame. David the David Stearns for enforcing a, a rule that causes all these dudes to dress fruity as fuck because that's if he not just left hold, 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 hold. we don't know what world we would have been in if he had just left well enough alone. However, he thought that oh oh my gosh, we need to uh double down on what these guys are wearing to the games. We need to double down and and, and, and put some for uh, uh uh some some part of a uh a, a, uh, uh, uniformity on what these nobody was showing up with Nazi signals. Nobody was was showing you're, up with you're anything. You're missing the point. You're missing the point. You made a definitive statement, and I and I refuted it. 
you made a definitive statement that they can't tell you what you can wear when you're not in uniform. Yeah, I'm this telling is, you, they can. this is not slavery. Right? You, they can't. Dude, this is just because you, you, you can see it how you want to see it. But million dollars don't mean you control me outside. And listen, of listen. When it's time for me if, to play if you, if if if, if 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 that though, if 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 dressing a certain way that's is shit, yo. That's shit. Shit. I like, no, because that's mean, that's so stupid to say slavery and you you freaking among the the half of one percent like that's. That doesn't even make sense to me. So if you're well, telling, man, me, is, telling well, me I gotta wear a suit listen, and man, well, money, money don't make money don't mean shit, bro. Like that's shit. That's good, man. First, I don't give right. a fuck if someone gave me a million dollars. They then tell you find yourself. It's not then you find yourself. Then you, dress- saw, then you find yourself in a Diddy mansion with your ass wet, with baby oil everywhere because no. you all the money. You a man no, first, no. Like, bro. Nobody's telling you to. Let, let's let's take this call. Nino Nino's calling in. Let's take this. See what you guys say. Nino, what's good, brother? Nino, what's good, bro? Nino, 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 Nino. Hey, turn off your um. Hey, turn off your, your echoing. Um, turn off your, your echoing. Turn off your. Okay, I don't think you can. Okay, I don't think you can. Yeah, no, nah, it's not. It's not. A, it's not a function of nobody talking about selling yourself for for dough. Nobody's saying that. What I'm saying, I'm just saying that, bro, as a man, that's a line between, and you know this too, man. Like, man, you, we, 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 we already been there. Like, I already told you, it's yeah. a certain level of respect. It's, yeah. it, it's just non-negotiable. Right. And Let's... and I think that I think what happened is, in some of these yeah. alpha males, they ran into some people who was bigots, and they say, you know what, that's not right. They felt some type of way. I can't like say, oh no, you shouldn't feel that way because they paying you X amount of dollars. I can only be. I can only be like, yo, all right, that makes sense. Like the money only yo, goes so far. Like that don't buy your soul. That don't let buy me your dick. You if you're not, if you're not going to and from work, right? You you're out on your own. You're doing your own thing. I'm not talking about to and from work. I'm saying, why does it hurt so much to if they implement a dress code? Say I got to wear some slacks and a button down. Why does that hurt so much? It don't even have to be a full suit. Why does that hurt some so much? Why does that bother you so much? I don't understand that. Does that take away from your manhood? If anything, that could further help you because it could put you in a position where maybe now you get even more endorsement deals. Like I just, I think, I'm, I'm I think lost. The problem is more of why you implement the dress code after the fact versus, you know, what I'm saying like this, this, this dress code didn't exist prior to a certain, uh, a certain demographic or a certain person or, or group of people or culture, right? Because at this point, there was the introduction to the culture. Remember, everybody was wearing the tight ass shorts, right? Nobody was really wearing the long shorts. Everybody was wearing the tight ass shorts. And well, so that was this the, that was the to do with oh, that. This, this introduction to this culture, it rubbed people the wrong way. This was more of a Afrocentric culture, and that's the, and that was the issue. These guys didn't play basketball. Like White Chocolate never, Jason Williams never had an issue with none of this shit. But these guys who sit sit on these booths, they had an issue with it. And so that's going to cause a riff. How dare you tell me what to do? How dare you implement these new rules because of what this 90s culture is? And, and, and I'm going to tell you, it, it's bigger than basketball, yo. At this point, this was this was 90s. This was the culture. This was hip-hop. This was the NBA saying, you know what? No. We don't want to see hip hop in our NBA culture. We don't want this culture. We, that was their pushback. That Yo, let's pushback. Let, let's take this. Let's take this call. Let's take this call and we'll get back. Tyler, what's good, man? What's going on? <clears throat> Maintain, Sorry, man. What's going on? Maintain, bro. Hey, um, I I want to uh, just bring a little bit of uh, context or, or 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 my opinion to the to the whole dress code, David Stern thing. Mm-hmm. This is definitely off the rails from where we were with Obama. Um, <laughs> right. I don't even know how we got here. Yeah, the that's direct what happens, goes, That's what happens when you talk shit out. You talk through stuff, though, bro. Yep. Like, yep. you find yourself Again, in all kinds of places. So, this is what makes this podcast so worth listening to. It's just, this is what would happen if we were all sitting out at Buffalo Wild Wings, any other time talking sports. True. Uh, the dress code was a direct consequence of the mouth at the palace that is true David Stern. Yep. you know what i mean mm-hmm. which is where seven eight or nine black players only black players were suspended even though there were some white players who left the bench that's a different 
uh, controversy, but mm-hmm. uh, they what they banned was was to me kind of telling, you know, specifically outlined in it was do rag, mm-hmm. uh, Timberland boots, jerseys, large jewelry, mm-hmm. and sneakers. I think that's kind of telling. You know what I mean? They didn't ban, um, you you know, any other expressive clothing from that other cultures may wear. Um, you right. know, this isn't going to be a long rant by me, but um, at the day one, you know how presidents on day one they say this is a day one initiative. Day one on Adam Silver was to relax the dress code and to take away the fines and suspensions. Um, it was a the, the the penalization of it became undefined in the dress code, mm-hmm. uh, and then once the bubble hit, dress code was gone because I mean they're just at the bubble. Um, everything was casual. Yeah, it's Everybody still technically on the books, though. Yep. <clears throat> but what I think what G's trying to say is, you know, not military wise, but just company wise. You know, I own a company myself, so I can tell you, you know. Uh, as far as EO goes and all these other things you got to be aware of, mm-hmm. uh, you can't control what somebody wears outside of your organization. You can't. If, even if they were walking down the street with a hate symbol on their shirt, like right. you said, you cannot, you cannot discipline them for that. Yeah, I don't what believe I said that, though. Yeah, but I think what we were talking about was, you know, um, the NBA's overreach into personal life, which is charity events were specifically outlined in the, in yeah, the, I saw that, you know, um, other things specifically outlined in the dress code was arriving to and departing from the arena, mm-hmm. which, you know, they're not on the clock as far as the collective bargaining agreement is concerned. It was a little bit of overreach, you know, and just to speak on G's behalf here, um, the overreach was kind of targeted and, for the fact that it came directly from the mouth of the palace, mm-hmm. you can read between the lines all you want. I mean, I'm, I've never had to deal with any sort of uh, right, racism, right. racism or anything like that. I'm, you know, but I can read between the lines because, you know, in my life, I've been around people that, you know, put shit between the lines mm-hmm. and try to read between it. Oh, you're, you're looking into it. You're pulling the race card. You're this and you're that, mm-hmm. but it's there for a reason. It's between the lines for a reason. Right. So, so let me, my bad. No, you're good. No, I was going to say, Tyler, um, I appreciate your, your feedback on this topic. Definitely. But what, what I want to say is this, right? No, I, I don't believe I ever said that a civilian company can control what you wear outside of work, but they definitely can enforce a dress code. Right. But anyway, going, going back to the basketball piece, another thing that David Stern talked about and that has been talked about is you're at the end of the day, right? It's a business. And as you said, you're a business owner. So you understand, like, at the bottom, at the end of the day, it's like bottom line, right? So this thing is a huge business. And if you're alienating advertisers, which is the real source of the money, not necessarily people buying tickets or buying jerseys or what have you, advertisers, the real source of the money. And if you're alienating advertisers, then what are you doing, right? That's my problem. And then secondly, if if I'm Allen Iverson or Bruce Hope or whoever it is, right? And I'm dressing the way I dress on the block, which is cool. I, I got no problem with that. I, I I used to dress like that all the time, right? Baggy jeans and Tim boots and all that. Cool. But my thing is this. When I know I need to, I throw on a suit and go about my business. And it doesn't hurt me to do that. It doesn't make me less of a man to do that, especially in a situation where doing so could possibly lead me. I haven't been in this situation, obviously, but to garnering more endorsement deals, which does what? puts more money in my coffers, right? So that's better for me. That's better for my family. I don't understand what the big deal is here. That doesn't make any sense to me because it doesn't hurt you to do that. It's just silly to me. It's not even worth arguing over. It's not. Yeah, I think some people let uh, principle guide their actions and values guide their actions a little bit more than... uh, compensation and things of that nature. I mean, me, if, if I'm a free individual in the United States of America, I'm a veteran too. Um, right. And you tell me I can't wear sneakers. Mm-hmm. I'm getting out of my car. I'm walking into work. Uh, 
you know, I get it. I get it. It's, a, it's an advertiser thing, but what the fuck does sneakers have to do with an advertiser? If an advertiser doesn't like him as a business owner, mm-hmm. if somebody, told, if a customer or something told me, I don't like your people showing up in do rag. Mm-hmm. Fuck. I mean, we, there's more, there's your money, you know, other people are going to spend the money. I mean, you got to have principal somewhere. No, I, I get the principal piece and I'm not mad at that. But real quick, side note on the do rag piece, right? This it's is interesting. Overreach, believe, I mean, believe it or not. The overreach of the league was probably like the biggest thing. The, um, I, there was I never saw it that way. Wrong. Like one thing can be two things can be true, but if mm-hmm. I feel like I'm being victimized and or um, discriminated, right? We're gonna say discriminated mm-hmm. based off of what I wear, right? Like then I have the right to like put that grievance in at my job then. Uh, yeah. Maybe that wasn't maybe that wasn't a thing then, but maybe now it, it, it carries a little more weight than it did when David Stern was in. And so if that's the case, then fuck advertising. That should go out the door because a lawsuit, right? A lawsuit will weigh more than advertisement any day. Mm-hmm. That stains the brand, right? It, it it tells other people like don't do business here. Don't watch. We saw with the nail and I ain't going there, but we saw what you know, lawsuits do to companies and corporations. And if mm-hmm. this is a company and a corporation that pride themselves on inclusion and diversity, then you can't alienate a person based off of malice in the palace and or what they wear to, to a game. Right? You can't do that. That's that is what I consider <coughs> um, a, 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 a discrimination. Like that's discrimination. That's point blank. Three. But I mean. It is what it is. We passed that, and now we see that there are more rights on the table than it was in the eighties, and we can move forward. Obviously, it was something wrong then that they had to change it and make it the way it is. Like you don't see people like, oh yeah, this motherfucker wearing a skirt and, and hat to the work. Nobody's saying nothing now. Like they just like no, it that, is what it is. We know that's that's a whole different can of worms. Yeah, but it I, is what it is. Man. Okay, so now you don't want. No, no, no. I, I understand. Everybody start wearing ridiculous shit. The work but after you, this bullshit happened. No doubt, but you still not seeing you still not seeing most- cats do rags and hoodies and baggy jeans and Tim's. You still not seeing it. So all that fighting they was doing, what did that get? That got the right to wear skirts. What did that get them? What did they get? This is the right to wear got. skirts to work. Yeah, they I'm, got. That. I'm, I'm yeah, telling cool. you what it got. It, it, it got people saying, you know what? All right, I'm not gonna wear the baggy jeans. I'm not gonna wear the the do rags. But what I will wear is my motherfucking top hat, a jean jacket with a jersey underneath. And I dare you say something. And so now it's this most outrageous shit that people are starting to wear. Why? Because one bigot decided to say, hey, you know what? That's not right. How dare you wear that, wear that do-rag, right? How dare you wear that do-rag? How dare you wear those baggy jeans? And now you're seeing people wearing just pretty much whatever the fuck they want. Now, so I Did, did right, you cool. change anything? Did you change anything? No, you didn't. You didn't change shit. You so, didn't change nothing. So, but, but gee, the, my main, my main issue I have with you on this is you keep saying that bigot, that bigot. Do you really believe, do you really believe that that was, that was why he did that? You really believe sure. that there was, there was who nothing the, else involved. Who the there fuck was, is wearing suits and ties to work now? Michael Jordan, bro. Michael Jordan. Why do you think Michael, Michael Jordan was Jordan. doing that? Why do you think Michael Jordan and Patrick Ewan and Reggie Miller and all them cats was wearing suits? You tell me why you think they were doing that. Why do you think they were doing that? Fast no, 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 no. Why do you no, think no, they were doing no, that? That's my question no, to you. They was company men. Fast forward. They was fast forward today. Fast forward today. Who the fuck is wearing suits and ties now? Goodness. It's a moot point. Is what I'm oh saying. It's a moot point. Yo, like, oh, so you, well, what'd you say? You'd rather see, rather see men out here in skirts and dresses than, than suits and ties. I got you. I got you. Don't, don't That's what you're fighting like for. That. Don't don't play with my name like that. First I was saying that was a that's what you fight. You good, you good you go with that? Now brothers wearing you fighting, suits. You fighting for suits and ties, right? You fighting for suits and ties, and people are fighting for. I can wear whatever the fuck I want. All right, cool. Equality. Well, I'll go, I'll go with suits that's, and ties. I mean, that's it. I'm going that's with that. Equality. I can wear whatever right, cool. you, I want. You you wear what you want. I'm going with suits and ties. I'm good with that. I'm not saying that. That's you do that. Choice, bro. bro. <laughs> you can't tell me what to wear. Yo, like that's all. All right, cool, cool. America. Okay. Okay. It's America. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. So no it's company America. can dictate you. Know, I got it. That's why they don't say what business casual is. 
they don't say what business casual is. What is I think there's casual? a generally accepted definition of business okay, casual. General, generally accepted, but they don't right, say, right. oh, yeah, you got to be business casual when you come to work. Nobody said that. Some, Some jobs say that. that, yeah. There are jobs that say that. I worked at one. You won't, you won't stay. You won't stay at your point. This is a. This is not. No, a no. I mean, you're saying that, but I, I worked at one that literally that was the journey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I do. I was doing help desk for an insurance company when I first got down here. <laughs> I, I think I, this is my. This is just my opinion. I think if David Stern didn't overreach, right, you wouldn't have all this furry shit. Not not furry, but you wouldn't have all these people wearing this wild shit. Like we only saw it oh. after. We only saw it in, in, in multiple sports after this guy came through. Like, that's all my. That's the only thing I was saying, bro. Like I could care less about what these motherfucking players play, where it literally work. I could care less. However, there is a certain thing in constitutional right to say, yo, you should be free. I shouldn't be able to tell you I, that, that overreach is fucked up. But that's all my right, two cool. cents. That's all my right. two cents, bro. Like, all right, well, you listen. have everybody in the world in suit, uh, suits and ties, but. It's cool. Who are you looking like at the end of the day, bro? Like, what do you, what you mean? Who are you looking at? Looking like? Who are you looking like? Who are you looking like? What, I don't. What are you saying? I'm just saying. Who are you looking like? Wearing a suit and tie every day. I'm looking like me if I want to wear a suit and tie. That's what I'm looking like. Me, suit and tie. You, you, can, some people you don't. Can, no, hold on. Some cultures they don't wear that. Some cultures they don't wear a suit and tie. Some cultures they don't wear a suit and tie. Some cultures they don't wear a suit and tie. Some cultures they don't wear a suit and tie. Some cultures don't wear a suit and tie. Okay, and that and there's no problem with that. There's no problem with that, well, but this one could be a problem with it. If you you saying I need to wear a certain, I, if I need to look a certain way, you saying that it's a problem with me wearing something other than what I want to wear. You dig what I'm saying? You, you don't play crazy like you know what talking about, but yeah, no. you don't play right. crazy like you don't know what I'm talking about. But you know what I'm talking about. We both two highly intelligent individuals, but I'm, I can see you stubborn and, and you stuck in your ways, bro. Like it, no, it's, it's not. I'm way. stuck in my ways. No, nah, I've been. I disagree. I disagree. You disagree. We agree to disagree. That is. That's us. Hey, boys, I'm, I'm going to hop off here real quick. All right, Tyler. Appreciate you, man. Anybody else. All right, bro. I'm all right, bro. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? What you say, Tyler? LeBron what? LeBron wears a do-rag to and from the arena for like the last 10 years. with all that. I ain't even going to. Let's not. Let's turn him in. Let's let's turn him in. 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 <laughs> I really uh, you gotta be careful care, with man. the sound tomorrow, G. Yeah, all right, man. I'll let you talk. Right. Appreciate the call, bro. Love you, bro. Congratulations. Yeah, the baby. Oh, the baby. Oh, that's good. Congrats, Tyler. Congrats, brother. Yeah, another man. blessing, fam. Another blessing. Two that's what's up. He said he gonna fill the house with kids. Yeah, that's what's all right. Well, there we go. All right. Woo. All right. That was a that was a hell of a live topic. But let's go ahead and switch it to football. Stop playing with me, yo. And we will. No, I'm not gonna back down, bro. Like certain topics. Hey, man. Hey. hey. hey you know it's cool, man. You want you want people yeah. to you know. But, but Tyler, Tyler has some really good points. Uh, Bruce has some really good points, man. Um, and you just got a little input from folks, man. That's that's just it. Like, everybody <laughs> don't know everything, right? Like we don't know all the answers. That's a fact. We and that's all I've been saying. Where we were when this shit was going on and how we felt about this shit. That's yeah, I, I tell you, I was arguing the same argument back then when this was happening with my homeboy Kai. He'll tell you. We I was arguing this because he was on your side and I was I was on the side I'm on now. Yeah, and I, I, was, hope so. nah. I, I hope so. You know, you already know what that is about, man. Like, you're not gonna tell me what I can wear to the game. I might want to wear my fucking Nike slippers and, and, and some warm-ups. Like, you I mean, know what I'm saying? Like, because I want to be relaxed. I don't want to put that suit on and but walk why, in the arena. Okay, why, can't like, yeah, you be in the huh? why can't you be relaxed in the suit? I mean, I'm just asking. You, you, you get in the zone from the time you wake up to the time that motherfucking clock starts. Well, clearly that didn't stop Mike from getting in his own. Or Kobe. Or Reggie. Or Pat. Dope. You know, Man, I'm just saying. We, I'm sure we got tape of them not playing suits every time, bro. Like, come on. Be for real. I mean, I mean that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two things can be true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe big games he wore a suit and tie, but at the same time, I'm not sure he wore he headphones on. I'm sure he had headphones on. Probably, probably when he first first came in the league. Yeah, but man, like, I saw Mike with his that, headphones on because like once my man became head. a once he became a some people, you know what I'm saying? Like that, that, that just me, like that. I just I get it. I just don't understand what's the big deal. It's not taking nothing from you, 
but whatever. Um, <laughs> it was the Godfather era. Could be, could be. I, I still, I still, I still like a nice suit. Still like still a nice suit. Still my dog, man. But that shit, that shit, hella uncomfortable. I, I disagree. That shit, hella uncomfortable. When you got, when you got a nice, nothing got like a nice suit. Off, and then you, you know, man, I don't really do suspenders. Ball. I do a belt. Nah, I don't really do it. Stern when everybody wears suspenders. Maybe so. I don't know if he took it that far, but maybe so. <laughs> you don't know. He'd be like, hey, look, you can't wear That's what I'm dress. saying. You wear the boxes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, you can't, yeah. you know what I mean? Your socks are come up to your knees. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure there was a dress code. <laughs> it's deep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to look like gangsters and shit when you come Oh, uh, No, nah, man, you don't got to look like a gangster, man. You just look smooth, man. No, no, no. Quiet as kept, man. I, I, I. I, I definitely love suits. Man. I love a good suit. I am. I am a suit <laughs> you guy. just made that the hour long argument and talk about some. I love suits though. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, but more than more than me loving suits is I love uh, the fact that I have choice. Mm -hmm. right? That's the biggest thing right there. Having choice to either let my nuts hang or not. Uh -huh. right? Right. How dare you? How dare you stop me from letting my nuts breathe? Who are uh, you? Uh, How did you? Like, who who told you you could do that? Like, I'm a, I'm a motherfucking man, first and foremost. Like, you ain't about to tell me, oh, yeah, that you're going to wear this suit. You're going to wear every, all 82 games. Bro. Well, all right. again, it was business casual, not necessarily a suit. I just used suit because, you know, Jordan. But, all right. I'm going to motherfucking... The Canadian football league. Next slide, yo. Next slide. You ready? You ready? Unless, unless we talking about here. what type of suits, what type of suits you rock in the, in the chat. Next slide. Like, <laughs> unless we talking about what type of suits you. Wait, hey, wait, Christopher. Was, you you can buy a suit off the rack. You just gotta take it to get tailored. No, so you can buy a suit off. Now, now, no, now I will, I will say though, there's first, like a hold custom. Hold on, hold on, hold on. First, first and foremost, first. What up, what up? Playing with me, bro. I got Ooh. personal tailor, yo. Chris. Ooh. First and man playing, yo. Chris oh, Chris. Oh, yeah. I was talking to him when I said that. Off the rack, G. I'm... What, nah, what you, you... I'm heavy, shorty. Like, I can't nah. wear no motherfucking shit off the rack. Then you got the motherfucking the back. You no. got this little no, you can't. On that motherfucker. Like, nah. No, you can't. Can. You just got to go take your tailor. Now, I will say, uh, uh, oh, 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 you almost got it. No, I will say, though, there's nothing like a suit that's made specifically for you in there. Now, Tom man, Ford, I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. Man, man, when, man, when I was in Korea, was by, yo. When I was in Korea, they had this dude, Mr. Hollywood. He used to come to the come to the barracks, Korean dude. He measure you all up, you know what I'm saying? Do all that, oh, and he come oh. back in about pause. <laughs> and he come back in about two weeks with his suit laced up nice for you. Let you choose a fabric, design, all that, Mr. Hollywood. That was good. Yeah, yeah. Tom Ford, hell no, nah. paying all that money just for that dude name. You crazy? Anyway, all right. All right, seriously, let's move off the suits. Let's move off the suits. No, that's a good topic, though. That was crazy. I mean, that's a good segue into the next one. 